taking places where you spend your time. Ain't no place I'd rather go. You're a funny little critter, and I love you so. And I wanna take a ride in the wheelbarrow. Gentlemen, here we go. We're pulling into the yard right now. I got my family behind me, and hopefully they are not mad about this. How's it going? It's gone until I realize we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's great. I will say this. Where's my freaking Corvette? I miss it. Well, y'all remember a while back when we got sued? And I told y'all we need to go on vacation. Our vacation is permanent in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know the better part? You see this land, and we own it only for $5 million. You took out a loan. Yes. For five million dollars. Yes, and I bought this How land. How are you to make that back? Well, we have we we have four years to pay the loan back, and yeah, we have a house, we have grain silos, we have a field. I mean, we got trees to cut down. We even got chainsaws. How in the world? Wait a minute. We need to be making more than a million a year. Yeah. Oh, the Where's cars. All the cars. Uh, well, we get when we got sued, all the cars got taken, the houses got taken, everything like that. The only thing that was left that was good was my credit, and so I used my credit and I bought this. I thought this was the best investment for us to have. And you chose to marry this guy. You know, I know, I know. Uh, we gotta start cutting down trees and taking them into town and selling them. Oh, and then don't forget, we got the lovely home that we get to live in. You're joking. The cars are be back here somewhere. I bet. No, nope, they're back here somewhere. Uh, Let's go, go ahead and get settled into our new house real fast. And tomorrow, all the hard work starts. We got to start cutting down trees, take them into town, selling them, and trying to make this profitable. Uh, you hear something? I was hoping it was a dream. Good morning, sleepyhead. I wanna, where the freaking are the coffee places? There is no coffee places. What's, we don't get coffee. All we have to our name is $144, and it's going down by the minute. Now, do you want to be quiet? Let's go ahead and start getting work done. Timber! All right. Go ahead and start cutting it up. Honey, can you uh, go get the uh, trucks, please? Uh, okay. Yeah. Load up all the trees. Start cutting and loading. Did you cut that in half? This one. <laughs> no. Uh, it's yeah, cut in half. Again. What the world? Who did that? Alrighty. Now that we got everything loaded up, let's go ahead and take them over there. You can take the sun with you. I don't Too bad. Her. You ain't going with me. I'll just walk. Come on, kid. Nah. You want to walk? Go ahead. Go walk. He can, use nope. the, he can use the exercise. So let's go ahead and pull on up here. All right. We made $3,000 off that so far. That's another 800 All right. We're making something now. Yep. $1,800 we got for that one. That ain't that best. $6,000. All righty. Let's go back to the house and let's do it again. Eventually, if we do this long enough, we'll be able to buy us a skid steer. All right, dear. Pull her out of the way. You cut them branches off that tree right now, mister. It's a Christmas tree. I don't... We don't need a Christmas tree. Cut the branches off. It sells more without the branches. All righty. <laughs> let's go ahead and take this to the thing. Another full load from my truck and her truck. What in the world is this? Doing donuts. What? Really? Donuts? What? I'm bored. Alright, let's wait for my wife to get here. Do, 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 do. Oh, three grand for it. That ain't, the, that ain't the best, but it ain't the worst. Alright, honey, we have $1,300. I think the dealership said they have a tractor for sale. I think we should buy it and buy a lawnmower. I know we got a silage pit over there. We could possibly make some money doing some silage. What do you think? Um, well, we got the money. We might as well do it. What is that? This is our lawnmower. That does not look like a lawnmower. Look underneath it. It's a lawnmower. I think Dad lost his mind. And that's the tractor over there we're going to be using. All right, honey, yeah. pull forward. I'm going to get behind here. I'm going to attach it for you. I'm going to pick up the wood, too, so we can save it for later. Hey, if I, can, do you think I can sell them the wood back? Come on, back it up. Back it up. Right there. Let's take that back, and let's uh, start somebody on the mowing. You know how to work that tractor? I think I do. All right, put it down and turn the mower on. I want to see it turn on. Oh, yeah, there we go. And here y'all thought I wasted all of our money. On nonsense. Spent money on something pointless. No, I didn't. What did I buy that was pointless? This farm. I mean, it's not a farm yet, but I'm glad you're seeing the future. Pop, she actually did a lot more than what I thought she was going to. Well, it's really good out here. This is all going to be really good grass to be able to put up, too. Here she comes. She realizes we're finally over here. You might want to watch out. I don't know if she knows how to stop it. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just moving it back over here so it's out of the way. All right, honey, you want to come with us? We're about to go get some burgers, and uh, we fear we're done for the day or something like that, and we'll come back tomorrow. All right, let's go. All righty. All righty, what we're going to do is we're going to park this right here. While I'm waiting on my wife and my son to get here, we'll sell the lodge real fast. That's another two grand for those lodge right there. 
the price of wood is decreasing sadly but once they get here that'll be another two grand hopefully and push around that 10 grand mark which we'll only need to make another 15 grand from the next episode all right so yeah. we're gonna sell this right here and we'll see what he makes what did he make two seven okay so we're at 11 grand <laughs> all righty good morning how you doing i'm doing fine that's good to hear that's good to hear uh where's our oldest son did you send him to go sell them logs yeah he went to sell one load oh looks like we just got the money actually okay that's not bad three thousand two hundred so we're not giving none of that money right no okay perfect well you know we gotta go to gerald's house today he uh wants us to go over there he has some equipment that he wants us to buy so let's go over there and let's go spend some money okay all right how's it been going man pretty good how are you ah doing good doing good long time no see yeah it's been a while yeah it has i heard you got some equipment for sale i do i'm downgrading the farm over here we've got this nice case combine here been running great for us from our farm throughout the years pretty low hours i'm thinking maybe 40 grand for it Whew. that's a that's out of our price range bud we, we here for some <laughs> of the small equipment man small equipment okay yeah we here for some of the small stuff i heard you got a good john deere type a tractor yep oh yeah that's yep. right here and oh and a cultivator yep Ooh. got a cultivator on there this thing's been our our cultivating tractor as you can see oh yeah it's got quite a bit of hours on it so the price would be a little bit cheaper for you uh maybe three four thousand dollars for you what about with the cultivator with the cultivator we'll do three thousand five hundred can i buy this honey that's not a deal we can pass on yeah i agree you, you got that sold right there all right shake your hand all right we got that bolt okay this thing we've just got a couple years back from pretty good with us uh we had to replace some hydraulic hoses here last year so they should be good to go uh maybe two thousand dollars for it prices are negotiable five hundred uh we gotta do more than that fifteen hundred five hundred a thousand dollars is the lowest i will go well uh 75 900 75 i can't do that low i gotta make some money so all i can 900 right, retire yeah. all right steal because i know you've been trying to sell this for a little bit it's this wagon right here i just want this gone no one's been wanting it, so throw me a price. We'll see what we can do here. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. That seems reasonable. We'll take that. And uh, how can I get? All right. Uh, can you do me a favor? Take it out there to my house. Cause I got a yep. lot of equipment now to take. I can do that. Well, anything else you're trying to sell, or no? Is this it? I think this is pretty much it. Hope you ain't too mad, honey. But looks like we're broke again. Again, yeah. Oh yeah, we never got out of the hole in the first place. Where did you come no. from? I knew y'all was coming up here, so I got on the uh, on deer and came up here. Perfect. Go get the John Deere. Bring it over here. We hook up to the cedar. All right, buddy. If you want to go ahead and take that down to the house, you know where the house is, right? Yep. All right, go ahead and take that down to the house. Uh, of course, you take your tractor back, but leave that out there in the yard. I'd appreciate that, man. He's a nice young man. All right, you got it hooked up there? All right. All right, see you at the house. Wilson. Everybody on the CB? Yeah, I'm hey. on the CB. What's going on? Nothing. I'm almost at the house. All right, I'm going to go take that wood me and you chopped yesterday. And we're going to kind of go ahead and take it on. Step mom right behind you. Uh, you trusted her to drive? She's a good driver. And plus, if I didn't let her drive, she may hit me over the head with that stick again. Okay, there you go. Hey, that stick hurts, okay? Well, right now we're pulling up here into the dealership area. We're going to sell these logs real fast. They said pull it over this grate. We'll go in here and get our money. Another $3,611, which is exactly what we needed. Because I got to pick up some seed while I'm here. I got to pick up some seed and some fertilizer. All right, we're getting the last one put into the bed of the truck now. And we got to head back to the house because we got to start planting, cultivation, a lot more. Well, why is this put up? It's time we gotta we gotta cultivate the field still. That's where she parked it. I don't think we could have got a smaller cultivator. Wasn't well, a bad price though. How's the tractor doing, son? It looks like you're holding up. I mean, is it doing its job well? Kinda. I mean, it's even quite a bit behind. Uh, there's only so much it's gonna do. It's all it's supposed to do is just rip the ground up. No, yeah, but it's definitely doing that. Perfect. So I'm gonna give you the option. Which tractor do you want to run? Do you want to do cultivation? to keep my farm all on the mower please okay all right well you keep going on your farm all and how much of that battery you still got left uh about quarter of the back quarter of the back okay well That's once fun. uh well i'm gonna get to going on the i'm gonna get to going on the john deere eh? and our son here he's gonna start loading up trees into the back of the trailer okay there is one tree laying down out there towards the left side uh it's been sitting there the last few days yeah, I don't know if we can make sure to get it up. I don't know if it's on our land or not. But all right, son, it's not. get to work. Get your manual labor. This old trash right here is doing a really good job. She's old, but you can definitely tell she's worth every penny we paid for. Her. I think this trash right here may be our best trash to date. Now, only if we can get my son figuring out how to drive a tractor, then we'll be sitting perfect. Back in the old life, he didn't really know. He didn't really know this type of lifestyle. He's learning it now. 
Alrighty, we are done with the cultivation part. So we're going to take the tractor over here and get the cedar real fast. And I'm going to get my son over here and I'm going to have him load in the seed by hand. What are we planting? Y'all want to plant beans, sorghum, what? Uh, whatever is good at this time. I don't know. Honey, what you think we should plant? Well, what do you think the, would be best for that field right there? I think canola would be the best bet to plant. It would bring the most amount of money at one time. All right, so go ahead and get it going. Honey, I might need that tractor from you. Will you? Uh, that tractor has more horsepower than this one. This one's only going five miles an hour and bogging down badly. Oh, uh, well, we got to hope that tractor can pull this mower. I, I'm pretty sure this tractor will pull that mower in a heartbeat. It pulled that cultivator, no problem. Yeah, bring her around here because she's bogging down. I'm going two miles an hour sometimes, sometimes five. She just isn't liking it. Honey, did you let him take a break or something? No, he just kind of wandered off. Uh, hello? Yes, son. Hello. Let me help you. Uh, there's some good news and some bad news. What's the good news? Uh, I really wish you would have asked about the bad news first, but, um, good news is I was able to stop the runaway, uh, John Deere. What do you mean? When was the John Deere running away from you? Um, that's the bad news. Throttle got stuck on it. And I wouldn't stop. Didn't want to work for some reason no more, and it crashed into the pond. You did what? Alrighty, so since your mother's out of town today, we gotta go get that ATV out of the pond because somebody put it inside the pond last episode. Like I said, the brakes fell on me. Sure. So let's go ahead and hunt the tractors and get a rope and let's go pull it out of the pond, okay? Fine. Alrighty, so I'm gonna tie this right here. Alright, here's the end of the rope. Now, uh, get to swimming. Huh? You put it there, you go get it. I don't like John Deere no more. Tie it up there and get in and hold on. You ready? Yeah. I got her going. She knows she's Slightly going. Slightly going. Slightly, come on. There we go. After looking at the damages at the ATV, me and my son came down to the decision. We were going to rent a flatbed, which we ended up doing. And we also are going to go ahead and take it down to the local dealership to see if we could trade in for anything that we need. Okay, so we just got here to the dealership. And my son is sadly at home, and he didn't feel too good, so he kind of stayed there for a little bit. And uh, we'll see him later on. And so right now, I have to go inside the dealership, talk to him, and see what they'd give us for this right here. And after some long and crucial negotiations, we ended up trading our John Deere side-by-side -side for an old rinky-dink sprayer. We ended up going ahead and taking it straight to the house and putting it straight to work. And we also ended up picking a IBC of herbicide. Okay, so we just got back here on the farm, and so now we're going to go ahead and hitch up to this right here, the John Deere sprayer, which we only they ended up doing a flat trade for the John Deere sprayer for our John Deere, which was really, really good. Um, it allows us to save a lot of good money and hopefully be able to let us last the entire year. Before I start doing this, I wonder if my son got this compact, so we should be able to go up to it and... There we go. It's now covered. So now we'll go ahead and start making this in the sausage. And let's go ahead and get this sprayed right here. And go ahead and get work started. Yeah, now that right there will start killing off these weeds. Oh, yep, perfect. So now we're getting some actual work done. And that is now done, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this up right here. I think I saw my son around here somewhere. I think he's feeling a little bit better. There he is. Hey. Watch out. How you feeling? Better. That's good to a hear. A lot better. All right, well, get back to work. Uh, start cutting some trees. I'm going to put this up real fast. I'm going to call the place that rented us that trailer. I'm going to let them come pick it up. All right. After I got done spraying, my son ended up having the entire trailer of logs ready to go. He ended up going ahead and working on that. So let's go ahead and take that up there and see how much money we make. And that sold for 2316 I got to pull up a little bit and let's see what the rest of this is going to sell for. Ah, another 1500 Okay. So that means we should be able to pick up a plow. Let's go. I'm going to go here and talk to the dealership and see what kind of plows they got. So we have a choice here. You see this John Deere A? Yeah. We can keep this or... We could sell it to them, and then we can give them another 10000 to get this entire setup right here. How much horsepower does it have? This has 185. Then, yeah, we definitely need to take this up. 
That yeah. isn't exactly something we can pass on. That's what I'm thinking. So, all right, I'm going to go in there and sign the paperwork, kiss her goodbye. And after some more negotiation, we ended up spending the 10 grand to go ahead and buy that tractor, and we went ahead and took it on to do some more work with it. Dad, you on the CV? Yeah, what's going on? Um, we got a little issue. What's going on? The tire popped on the tractor. It did what now? The tire popped on the tractor. Oh, my lord. Alrighty, I'll be there in a minute, son. Alright, hurry up. I'm coming, it's getting late. Okay, let me take a look at this. Me, you can find some. I didn't find nothing. Here it is, it's a nail. A nail? Where the yeah, you ran over a nail. Oh, I see it. What is Where wrong with you? How? Do you not know how to drive? I told you, don't You're... wreck the tractor. I didn't wreck it, it's not broke. Yeah, no, now I gotta pay for a brand new tire. Hey, it ain't my fault that you built us in the middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden there's a random nail in the middle of nowhere. You know what? So this that's... is coming out of your food for the week, okay? It ain't like you fed me yesterday anyways. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and head to the house real fast. I'll call my cousin in the morning and come fix it. And after some time, me and my son decided to wait. And eventually, he decided to appear out of nowhere. Hey, I see him. Is he finally coming? Hey, he is. Yeah, but haven't you been telling him to get rid of that truck for a while now? Hey, it's his decisions in life, okay? He has his right to choose whatever he wants, so we may not agree with it. Hey, cousin. What's happening? Well, Where's this tire at? Right here. We can't. We didn't even make it to the house with a new tractor before he broke it. Wait, this is brand new, and you broke it? Not brand. It's not, not brand, brand new. new. Oh, look at that. It looks nice. Yeah, dealership right. only charged me ten grand for it. Ten grand. Ten grand Man. for this and the plow. I was about to say. And the plow. That's a steal. Exactly. All right. You know, I'm surprised they don't have any type of warranty on this. Did you check with them? They said no warranty. That was no that was the reason it was so cheap. I guess that's yeah. a good deal. That's that's worth it. All right. Let me see. All right. See. I think we've got to be able to patch it. Patch it? All right. That's yeah, not, I think so. To me. All right. Yeah, let me let me go it's look some, for, for some too. tools. You better hope it's cheaper. That means you still get food this week if he's able to patch it. All right. This shouldn't take long. And there's some there's some fresh hot donuts in the truck if you guys are hungry. Yep. Hot donuts. All right. Donuts. That's why you're my favorite cousin. Hey, hey the jelly back donuts. Up. Back up. No, you don't deserve hey, no, it. Oh, no, that one. You, no. no. Nope, nope, fine. All right, it's a, it's all repaired. It was it was just a quick quick patch there. You know, it, it was a good clean hole, so it was in the right, right spot to be able to be patched. So you don't have to buy a brand new tire. Luckily, thank God for that. Got a question for you. You uh, you said you still look for a job, right? I'm always looking for money. Uh, you want to join us over here? Yeah, farm work. I'd love to learn. All right, good. It's this not could... very fun. It's not very fun. No, no. You don't. well, we can make this one exciting. <laughs> we can make it exciting. All righty. So I'll let you actually. You know how to drive the tractor, right? Well, I can, yeah, I, this one, yeah, I should be able to figure this out. Let's, uh, let's start this up here. So what, you driving this truck then? I'm going to let you drive it. You got the keys or is it in it? Uh, the key, I, it's, it's, yeah, they're still in there. Okay. All right, All right go ahead and take her around back. We got to make a new field with her. Man, he has so many freaking pop cans in there. He should. He's just like you. <laughs> I don't drink that much pop. Yeah, I hear you over there. I'm going to drive this back there. All right. You know how to plow, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to do you a starting line, and then I'm going to get you to go ahead and on starting on the other, okay? All right. I'm going to go cut trees. Seems like it's running really well. The plow is doing a really good job out there. It's tearing up land, especially for the first time this land's ever been in use. Uh, it's doing a lot better job. Dad. What'd you do now? Whatever you do, don't look towards the truck. Go Come on. Truck. This is ridiculous. Let me start this tractor for a second. All right, Uncle Chris. No, Cousin Chris. <laughs> You want, me, you want me to take over? Yeah, go ahead. Let me go look up with this child. All right, now. we got this. Hey. You want to explain? Uh, no, not really. You realize this means we have to get a new truck now, right? Uh, we got mobs. All righty, let's go look at this broken truck that you broke yesterday. Hey, it is not my fault necessarily. It is 100% your fault. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll actually take blame for this one. I have no... Excuse really on this one. At least you cut the at least you cut the lens off of it. But come on, dude. Really? I mean, I wanted to see the damage. It's not that bad. Yeah, but now we gotta sell it, get rid of it, because I mean, what are we gonna do with a broken truck? The dealership I already called them and they said they'll give us five thousand for it. We can at least use that. Hey, money. see? That's extra money, see? That is not extra money. This truck is worth twenty grand. Uh, I mean it, that uh, is what it costs. That's what we originally paid for both <laughs> of our trucks. Twenty grand a piece. So Quit messing up our vehicles. Now let's get the chainsaws out and start cutting these things, okay? 
Yeah. Did you leave yours in the house or where did you put yours? Well, mine's in the truck, back of the truck, where yours should have been. Right. Yeah, it might be broken then. No, that's good. All right, go in All the right. house and change. And we went ahead and took it on down to the local dealership where we sold the tree. And then we ended up selling the truck for $5,000. After we got done selling the truck, we ended up renting a Kubota skid steer from the dealership, taking it on home after we also bought a trailer as well. Dad, I got sandwiches for you. Keep them. What, you ain't hungry? No, we got work to do. While you're doing that, you want me to go over there and cut those trees? Uh, no, because you're about to have to leave. I'm going to stay in this kid's chair all day while you do the trucking. All right, son, go sell that. Because we're renting that trailer. We got to get enough money so we can buy another trailer. All right. Oh, that's not my favorite cousin. Oh. Hey, what's happening, cousin? Not much. What about you? See, uh, that land on the other side of this little opening? Yes, sir. I bought that. I heard someone else bought it. I know you want me to do some work to help you out. I'm definitely going to do that. Now, is this equipment available to be borrowed? Yes. Okay, awesome. There's this old farm over yonder. When I was at the dealership earlier, I was talking to someone, and they told me that they're selling everything over there. And I went over there, and it's abandoned. There's a harvester over there. Ooh, do you know what they're wanting for it? I did not know the price, but the word I heard was dirt cheap. That's interesting. If I, what's called, because we, we still got to sell all this off today. If we sell this and we get pretty good off it, we might be able to put our money together and go buy it. That would be amazing. Yeah, especially since I got to buy more fertilizer or something like that, because it's time to fertilize this right here. So what are you about to do then? I was thinking about borrowing that nice plow you're using so I could create a field. Okay. Well, that's what I was about to ask. Do you want to plant today? I don't know if I can get that far, but maybe get plowed at some point today. I might send him to go start planting. I feel about there, but yeah, that works for me. Well, cousin, we'll get it. We'll get together by the end of the day. All right. Sounds good. Hey, how much does that load sell for, by the way, son? Eh, about a thousand. That ain't bad. No, oh, by the way, mom called today. What did she say? She said she's going to be out for another couple days. You know what? I might let us get some work done. All right, get to work. Get the driving. You do that. I'm going to hook up the planter to the tractor. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this cedar right here to the back, and we're hopefully going to be able to do a couple passes while we're waiting on him to get back. It takes him a minute. About another grand looks like we got. That's good. So we'll keep on making that much money, and hopefully here in a minute we'll be able to afford us a bigger trailer. And then me and my son kept this entire process going. He kept selling I kept planting and keep loading him until the point we got all the silage finally unloaded and finally sold. I'm about to go talk to our cousin. What's he doing today? I think he's working on his piece of land across over beside us. How's their thing going over here? It's going good. I think uh, I might have bit off more than I can chew with mowing this yard, but it's coming along. Yeah, you're, you'll be fine. Off of our big yard we mow, think we've already made like eight grand off of it so far. Ooh-wee. It's so. going to be a while. I, I'm not sure. I can't decide where I'm going to cut off this field I want to make here. How much longer you plan on doing this for before you give up for the day? Um, you know, I could be convinced to give up now. All right, here in a little bit, uh, my son's getting done loading up the truck right now. You want to head over there to that place? Yeah, let me uh, do a couple more passes here and I'll, I can meet you and we can head on up. All right, sounds good to me. I'll go ahead and take right. the back over there and see if you need it. All right, thank you so much. Dad, you on the CB? Yeah. 4,200 is what we got for that. Oh, yeah, we got some money now. All right, we're going to put this down right here. I'm going to jump inside of here with him. Dear Lord, please protect me as I, my son drives me. I'm not that bad a driver. You're worse than that. I don't even think no. God's going to be able to protect me from your driving. I mean, let's be honest. If it was mom driving, I would be worried. Your mother was a better driver than you. She was not. Your stepmom and your real mom are better drivers than you. And after some time, me and my son went over to the abandoned farm that my cousin told me about. And my cousin met us there, so we went ahead and looked around and see what we can find inside. All right, boys, what are we standing around here for? Uh, what? because I'm just trying to figure out where in the world he brought us. Yeah, just follow me. Should have told us to bring a weed whacker with us. Yeah, that would have been nice. What is this? What I can't see what it is. Wait a minute. I know what this is. This is a oh, harvester. I told you, you. I don't see any keys in it, though. I bet we'd have to call the person who owns it. Does I wonder if there's a number or something on the house over here. Let's look around a little bit more. Ooh. Yeah, got a Massey Ferguson over here. Oh, yeah. Hey, I found a truck of some sort over here. All right, I'm coming. Ooh, a Mack dump truck. Okay. Okay. Imagine the think? silage you can move with this thing. 
I know, right? We'll have to ask him how much they want for this. Oh, hold up. No, I don't think it might not be worth it, boys. I see. Yep, there's a rat's nest right in there. Yeah, they've chewed through a lot of that stuff out of Yeah, this ain't worth 10 cents. Hey, son, go stay in that barn for a little bit. Go get you a pet rat. Nah, I'm good. This over here, though. Let's kind of look at this for a second. It looks really, really good. The tires look good on it. I don't see any, like, show of rat. It looks like it was only just used, like, a couple times and just sparked. There's jumper cables. I wonder if the, it just probably needs a new battery, maybe. Does anybody know the guy's number? Did you look at the house? Yeah, yeah, there's a number posted on the door. All right, okay. let's go get that and let's call them. Yeah, it's like, that's the number. All right, so we're going to give it a call. All right, sir. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we'll wire you over that money instantly. All right, have a good one. He only wants $10,000 for it. For the harvester? For the harvester. Wow, okay. Um, Done what, deal. What did he say was wrong with it? He said the only thing he needs is a new battery, but he just wants it off his farm because they're going to build a brand new highway through here. A highway? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but that's not for us uh, to with. I feel bad for this farm, but okay. All right, cousin, you brought an extra battery in your truck, right? Yeah, let me go grab that. All right, go grab that and let's get it on. Oh, this is a heavy battery. All right, put it in there and connect the battery cables. All right, truck. give it a shot. Give it a try. She's alive. Hey, I'm going to back it on out of here. Yeah, I'm getting out of the way. Oh, it looks nice when it's not covered with weeds. So I'm saying, turn on. It's turning. Do you hear anything clanking back there? No, it shouldn't be. Uh, it's a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Turn that off. The engine itself runs fine. I think it may be like the thrasher. There's something wrong with it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take it on back to the house. And, and Chris can fix it. Exactly. Yeah, it probably just needs some regular maintenance. Uh, it probably got to go through the entire back end part. So let's go on to the house. Or actually, we got to go to the dealership, don't we? Yes. Yep. All right, let's go get Chris's <clears throat> very first tractor. This is the di the discount dealership? These all used? Yep. yep. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. From what I got told, all these have well over 10,000 hours on them. Okay, good starters. No, I guarantee yeah. that ain't going to be enough 4,000. That's probably more like 10,000. Yeah, okay. In the future, I'm coming back for this one. Son, come here. <laughs> what? Find out how much they want for this right here, right now. All right. If they only want like 10 grand for it, do you want to split it? Absolutely. All right. It's not cheap. I'll say that much. How much is she? 1250. Oh, God. So I got 4,300. I got six. Ain't like you can take out a loan either. Well, he can't. I know he can. You could technically take out a $5,000 loan. I could. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go see if they can finance me for 5000 and we can pay cash for the rest. Good news. What's they the approved news? the loan. We're all yeah. set. So let's, uh, I'm going to pay them my half. You pay them your half. We'll sign them both the deed. And I'll own half of it. You'll own half. Then y'all go do that. I'll be out here. I'm going to look at this truck over here. All right. You just paid twelve grand for a brand new tractor. Well, I'm going to drive it home. I'll walk back and get my truck later. Oh He's going to try to drive up there. No, no, no. Do I need to put the truck like right up against the oh, fence? Oh, so close. I'll just drive slow. Yeah, you might, you might want to turn slow. it off. I don't think his truck's going to be able to pull that, but we'll see. I trust it. All right, let's get to the house. All right, all right, I'm coming. Hurry up, man. Well, I got to be slow some days. Eh, you're old, so. You can I'll walk just... for that one. <laughs> I'll just go back to bed. Nah, 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 nah. We got to go uh, pick up don't... this new skid steer. Yeah, I'm happy my buddy freaking called me about that. I am too. Trust me. He said it's 10 years old, the trailer, the skid steer, all of it. So, pretty cheap. He said we could get it for. I, I don't know the exact price yet. Hey, we about to find out right now. Yep. I'll run in there. Uh, he said he has it parked up in the deal, so you can go check it out while I talk to him. Right. Ooh, this is not... This is what I'm talking about right here. Stomp grinder. Ooh, we got a way to grab logs now. Ooh, I want to know how much they want for this. This is a can't-miss situation right here. All right, I'll tell him. Pops, you over there? What What's he wanting? He wants about 30 grand for all of it. Only only 30? Yeah, yeah for all of it. All right, tell him so. I'm going to wire the money. All righty. We just paid 30 grand for this. Let's look <laughs> up before he decides that he wants to change his mind. Uh, is that truck going to get it? It's going to have to. This is going to be interesting. When was the last time you pulled a trailer this bit long? Uh, when was the last time we drove some of my trucks together? Uh, golly, it's been a couple of years now since we've done that. We need to buy a gas truck is what we need to do. I can't wait until we actually end up getting the funds for a natural semi truck. I don't know about all that. What, you don't miss freaking driving a semi truck? Nope. And after we got done negotiating with them, we only ended up paying $30,000 for the trailer and the skid steer, which we made $40,000 from the silage harvest. And after that, we took it on directly to the house and put it directly to work. I got all the straps off. All right, let's start uh, unloading her. 
I can't wait to use this stump grinder. Have you heard from our cousin? Uh, look to your left. He's already here. Oh, there you are. Sorry, I was on the phone right there. Uh, it's completely fine. I'm just trying to get this unloaded real fast. Yeah. What did you we got, buy? We, we got us? all this for 30k. Wow, this bucket right here would be nice. I might have spilt a little bit of the grass on the other side of the pit so we can cover it all. Might need to do that. All right, I'm going to park the trailer up. Let's push it up in here a little bit. All righty, the silo is covered. That is going to pay off. That paid off for us. This truck does not like this trailer. I can imagine. Oh, yeah, we can finally get rid of all these stunts back here and start replanting some trees. All right, bro, you want to learn how to use this for a second and you start cutting these down while I talk to your cousin? Yeah, go ahead. All right, let me finish this one right here and turn it off. Almost. Keep going. You got it. All righty, so what's your plan of the day? I want to get a field plowed so that I can maybe, you know, see, this is what I'm thinking. I want to save a little area. I want to get a little coop for some chickens. Yeah. So I think I want to get some some wheat started. All right, so actually, I'll go ahead and take the case. I should go ahead and start doing that. All right. Hey, son, you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? Time you get done with that, go ahead and start cutting down some more trees. Okay, it's probably going to be a minute. I know, but we got to go ahead and start selling more trees um, because we got to afford to get some fertilizer today. Okay. All right, and while he does that, I'm going to do a little bit of equipment shuffle. I'm going to put this up, which how do we have that over there? We don't really need this anymore. Hey, cousin. Yeah. Since, well, actually, you got that big tractor now. Hmm. Yeah. What were you thinking? I, never mind. I forgot you had that big son of a gun. I thought you'd be able to buy this off me, but I think we're going to sell this. Well, why don't you forget that you you own half of this, too? Yeah, I know. I know, I know what I own. No, I said forget. No, 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 no. Hey, bro, I think I'm going to take pictures of this uh, plow cultivator here, and I'm going to put it on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Hey, you might take it down to the old dealership, see what they would offer for it. Uh, I'm going to see what Facebook would give me first. What did we put that other 10 k to? Oh, that, uh, the bank took it from our account because they wanted on interest so we're broke again pretty much well not like we ever wasn't already broke for but yeah but we don't have we gotta sell logs to be able to afford the nice stuff i was talking to the people and they're starting to say they're starting to get too many logs well doesn't matter we gotta sell more hey wait what do you guys got going on over here getting some wood all right i got my ginormous uh, pile here i'm gonna i'm gonna run to the store and i'm hoping to get enough for maybe a bag of seed i ain't gonna give you a thousand dollars what do you mean that's a lot of wood. Do you think four pieces of wood's gonna get you a thousand dollars? All right, I'll go get more. All right, son. We're gonna go ahead and take all these into town real fast. Yeah. Hopefully, we make it there with our gas. Yeah. Wait a minute. Where can we even get gas in this place? We'll figure it out. We'll definitely be making more than a thousand dollars since we have more than four logs, unlike our cousin. I think we'll get about four thousand. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah. We'll see you when we get there. Why'd you stop going? Uh, we're out of gas. Ah, dang. All right. Let me call my cousin. Hello. Hey, cousin. What you doing right now? I'm just loading some seed onto my trailer that you guys said I couldn't afford. Oh, okay. I'm glad you afforded some seed. Uh, could you uh -huh. uh, bring us a container of gas? Yes. Let me do that. Let me uh, just get out of this fork lift here, and uh, I'll be right over. Where are you uh, guys at? 100 feet down the road. All right. We got some diesel now. Thank you, cousin. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you back at the farm. Yep. 10-4. We'll see you there in a minute. I'm going to drop off this seed at your uh, barn. Why in my barn? Because I'm borrowing your equipment. That's my way of paying you back. All right, son. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Yep. Uh, I'll take it. Hold up. We got to buy some seed now. How much seed do you need? Quite a bit. Once we deliver this, you need to go and you'll take off about two more loads of wood. Because if that's what that costs, we can get those big logs there. Thought that out here. We'll make a bunch more money. All right. Hey, there's our cousin. What is he doing? I don't know. Go get the skid steer. Quite the load job there. Trust me, I told him to load it up on a normal trailer. Did you really want to drive all the way back for that normal trailer? Yeah, I would have, because this is going to be a pain. All right, no, it's it. not. Ooh, a spreader would be something nice for me to buy, huh? If you could, that'd be awesome, because we need I need to spread the lime. Yeah, we need to get some money for that. Hey, where's the case I H? My tractor? Oh, you mean our tractor? Our, our tractor? <laughs> it's, it's over. It's over. Oh, I thought it, I brought the plow back, and then I took it back. Yeah, you want me to bring it over? Yeah, please bring it back over to our shed. Get in this case here, bud. All right, then I'm going to trust you to unload the one this in the pickup truck i brought your wind rower back as well i forgot we even bought that sucker how did she treat you oh it was amazing quick job all right i'll be right back with the lawnmower all right i just got done this field right here is fully fertilized where's the case I if that son of a gun is took the case i oh, I'm about to say he's I'm right, right here in front of you <laughs> i was about to say that's all i'm gonna say that case i hate again we're about to go around all right son i'm gonna go put that the other stuff up get get on that and go spray that backfield okay oh can i not unstrap this with nothing on it oh gee when are you talking about your way you uh, put stuff up, bud? For real, honestly. What did I do? The, way, the plow? Yeah. I know, it's a problem. Because I got to put all this stuff in there. Oh, 
I gotta look backwards when I go backwards. You got not to full fledge it. Sounds like y'all are having a fun time. <laughs> My eyes are getting a little heavy. Yeah, I same here. Go ahead and get in the tractor. Pull that out. I'm gonna pull this out. Time you pull that out. I'm gonna put this directly back in here. Oh, pull out the wind rower. Yep. All right. All right. You should be. And after you pull the wind rower, you should be able to just back on in here and get her. Then we'll put everything back up, and then you'll just park her up in front. Which, by the way, when are you ever gonna work on this? Oh, I I need to do that, don't I? Yeah. Well, let's leave it accessible, and I'll I'll get it hooked up here. You take this. I'm taking the case IH for a little bit. All right. Sounds good. Cause I ain't had much time to use the case. And we are gonna back on up right here and attach to this right here. And we're actually gonna make one more field. We're gonna plant something else into it, but I wanna make at least one more little field so we can have multiple different fields. We're ripping the ground. We'll say this tractor does run very, very smoothly. It does a very good job at the way it runs. Um, but we'll say the overall, really good tractor. Uh, hey, hey dad. What's up? Uh, the old tractor had its last moment finally. What do you mean? Let's just say the motor kind of exploded. Are you sure it exploded? I mean, I'm seeing oil all over the ground and parts on the ground. Alright, I'll be over there in a minute. Alrighty, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, that's oil all over the field right there. Let me go holler at the co my cousin real fast. Hey! Hey! What what's you doing? going on, cousin? Uh, I was just coming over to see what was happening over here today. Well, your other cousin decided he yeah. wanted to blow up a tractor today. I'm starting to notice a trend. Th there's a big trend, and it's getting annoying. All right, well, let's let's go take a look at it. Well, yeah, this thing's pretty... I mean, it's going to be expensive. It, it looks like it needs a brand new motor. One of the pistons blew. Ah. Uh, yeah, could try to see, replace it, yeah. but I think we'd probably be better off getting a brand new motor if we want to want to keep this one around for a while. We do got Facebook Marketplace, so we can see what we can do about find one on there. Let, let's go ahead and go get the anchor rope. Let's go into town real fast and go get it, okay? All right. Yeah, they've already Just, got the rope up here. I already paid them for it online, so. Oh, that works out good. Let's go. Got it all hooked up? Yeah, they'll be fine as long as it drags. All right, let's get it back. Ah, uh, there they are. I don't know where my phone is. Maybe he's got it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and attach your thing. All right, we're hooked up now. We got everything strapped in, so I'm going to go ahead and ride it and you drive me around front okay all right we can do that let me know when you're ready all right hit her don't tell him but this man is on only farms no way we good yeah that looks good to me don't it do you oh yeah you want to look better though what me finding you on only farms hey now let's let's have a conversation i'm not just talking about <laughs> oh really what's this i have on your phone here though give me, give me that phone back give me that <laughs> give me that phone back <laughs> all right but outside of that only uh farms i found on your phone i was looking through and there's a person that has an old tractor that he's just tired and he's selling out for parts so there is how much is they wanting for it not a clue he's saying best offer uh it's a little bit of a drive but i mean it's better than nothing okay let's you uh think? let's offer him about two grand for it and then let's go make two grand worth of money because we currently don't have any money what were you telling me earlier chris there's some old person that moved in here recently to that farm we went and visited yeah he uh he got some land here and he's he's older and he needs Need some assistance doing some work and it sounds like he's willing to trade um work for goods i don't know if he needs us to seed but i do know he needs some field work okay so we'll bring the plow and all that so the first thing i think we should do is son go get the pickup truck and go sell that wood that we picked up yesterday and after my son left to go sell that wood i called up that old farmer to go ahead and find out exactly what he needed done and how we can get it done and what the payment would be he did say he had an old piece of equipment he would give us if we plowed his field and planted his field for him so we're going to go head over there and do that for him right away. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start this. You two go ahead and start cutting down them trees over there. Ain't going to be the prettiest field in the world, but he didn't care about prettiness. He just cared about effectiveness. All right, take this off here, and you actually might need this, so we'll need this in a minute. I'm going to go what, talk what? to him. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Thank you so very much. I'll go ahead and get that out of your way. Go ahead and leave this off right now and take his truck. Go get them yanking ropes because he said this out in the wolf forest and it's unusable. Uh, okay. Chris, you on, you on the CB? Yes, sir. All right. Well, he said that what we need is out there in the forest. So we'll go out there in a minute once you get done planting. All right. That's exciting. All right, let's go get the incomes and let's go ahead and get that out of the forest. Y'all see I it can't yet? see. No. I can't see nothing. I don't either. Look I found the bucket. Oh, I yeah. see something yellow. I mean, white, yellow. Does it even start? He says back here because the engine blew on it while, years and years ago when they were clearing the farm, so I doubt it. You really think we're going to have the money to fix two things with no motors? I mean, we got $9,000 because you sold the wood. Let's get that tractor back into here, I think. 
I can't even see past these trees. Oh, that thing's the <laughs> is getting in the way. It's blocking it. Get out of the tractor. The the little uh, strap was getting stuck on the tree. What's that done right here, little boy? Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Think you're hooked up. You ready? Go for it. I would get out of the way in case she snapped. She ain't going an inch. She's probably locked up a little bit. Hold up. Uh -huh. Try Hold up. yanking it. I got an idea. Might be stuck in a hole. Try yanking it. Put it in neutral. Make sure she's in neutral. Come on. She does not like this, boys. I was only half of it. There's still a whole other piece we gotta go get. All right, I got her. Just gonna pull her on out. And after we got everything and took it to the house, we decided that we were just gonna go ahead and head to bed for the day and get an early start for tomorrow morning. Which, during the night, the person did end up texting me back from Facebook, and we ended up buying that tractor for a total of two grand, so we're now able to fix our own tractor now. Looks like somebody's sitting here waiting on me. Yeah, I've been here for a few minutes. I'm sorry, I had to eat breakfast. What do you want from me? You playing on your phone again? Quit. You about to make me mad now. Let's go. Let's go get these tires so you can make your new bunker. Yeah, I'm excited about that, so I don't have to always be stealing or borrowing your guys' equipment. All uh, right. That's the last one of them. Ooh, that was, a, that was a lot of work. All that digging, it's going to be worth it. I wonder if that kid is back yet or not. He said he had to go take care of something important today. If he ain't back yet, I'm going to tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to get that tractor. I'm about to start planting. What you about to do if he ain't here? Uh, I need to do some fertilizing. I'll let you take the orange tractor. I'm going to take the case IH and we'll go ahead and knock out some things. So we're just going to plant some beans right here. Looks like we're finishing up the last little pieces here, which is really, really good. We put down some soy beans today in this field because it really needed it i think my son's up here waiting on me oh he's coming this way right now is he yep oh he's coming in hot get your slow behind out of the way i've already planted in the time you've yet to hook up hey pops what's up so i got good news for once lord have mercy please tell me please tell me you're moving out uh not that much of good news but what you will it? see less of me that sounds great to me what'd you do rob bank nope uh got a girlfriend at that old dealership and now i'm working there son didn't i tell you not to work with the person that you love i also got a 25 percent discount off so okay you're my favorite son all right so let's go to this shit then i know you got something i need then <laughs> hey cousin you know Yo. yep i'm taking my truck i'm gonna take my son to the dealership he's got a 25 percent discount so i'm gonna go use it oh i love it let me know what you get all righty pull on in here how much was this 420 uh it was like only 2500 i'd have to go and look at paperwork i haven't looked at all the paperwork for the tractors yet so go find out how much that is so the tractor over there it's 2500 and i know you said we were coming here for these yeah, this yeah. is 2500 as well and this is five grand i want the 420 and i want the spreader but i'm not paying 2500 for that spreader i'll give you two grand uh i mean you forget also 25 percent off i know but well, i want that and then i want your 25 percent discount on that uh 2250 don't you mess with me mean you both not can get that from Facebook marketplace yeah but then you have to go on a long old drive and then wait for it if you are having to deliver it this is here and now 2100 2200 and you're done. Sounds good. I still get my 25% discount. Let's go sign Let's paperwork. Let's go in here. Alrighty. Thank you for doing business and uh, I guess I'll let you drive the truck and I'll drive the new tractor back. Alright. Hey cousin, where you at right now? Just finishing fertilizing my field. Alright, so I need to talk to you for a second if you could. Yeah, I'll head on over. I gotta bring back the sprayer anyways. You got another tractor? Why not? This is where I view it is. The other one's down. Until we get that one fixed, it'll be about another month we get that one fixed, right? Yeah, I mean, you're right about that. So if it's gonna be a while for get that one fixed, we gotta have a small tractor to do like spraying with because there ain't no point in having these big tractors on these small on the small sprayer and like the f spreader you do have a point that would have been a lot easier I mean, on this guy maneuvering would have been easier yeah and, uh, so i think this was the best bet right here it's only 2500 that discount's already coming in handy um have you heard anything from them yet because we've already paid them their two grand for that tractor oh uh, yeah i think uh it was getting delivered gosh i thought he said this month they, i'm maybe i need to call them maybe 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 it's tomorrow so let's go ahead and get this over there real fast and yeah all right now that that's there we can go ahead and head back to the house I guess that son of mine should be coming back to that lime here in a second. So I'm going to start liming. And then do you need lime on your fields? I could use it, but I think we should prioritize your fields because they're further along and I, I can wait a little bit. All right. Just go ahead and take our trail, two trails we got and start hauling off mass amounts of wood at one time. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I want to clear a good amount of these trees. So yeah. that'll that'll speed me up big time. Take that and use a skid steer. You should be done within a couple of days. Knock out a bunch of these trees. And then you'll yep. have yourself probably about 10 grand laying around. Oh, that sounds great. Son. What? 
what? Where's the new tractor? Uh, I don't know. I swear on my life, if you've done... I didn't touch it. Oh, it's out there in the field. It's hiding behind a tree. That tree's not very big. Yeah, I got you, didn't I? I thought my tractor didn't got stolen. If my tractor got stolen, it was about to be built time. All right, let's get to work. All right, boys, I'm finished. I'm filling up one more time. What y'all do? Um, The mower's been making some type of weird noise. I'm not sure what exactly. It just shut off. You mean the mower ain't turning no more? Because there's no PTO hooked up to that mower. It's not turning. Oh, no. Cousin, you on the radio? Sam 4. Get your butt over here and let's look how we broke now. All right, I'll be there just a second. All right, all the trees are strapped. Good job. Nice loading job we did here. I think this is, we could have done no better. I mean, the second trailer, we could have done a lot better. Nah, that trailer's gonna make more money than the first trailer, so I don't hear that. It may not look pretty, but it's gonna be some money. Hey, I couldn't even put down a strap right here because I was worried that this tree was gonna catch on to the other trailer. Oh, yeah. Did you, uh, looks like we already got paid by that guy. Did that guy already come by and pick up the, uh, tractor? Yeah, he did, and he had it load up on a trailer because it wasn't working. Yeah, that engine kept stalling out. Hey! Yeah, there he is. He cannot. Oh, oh, yeah, he got both the tractor and the other. All right, looks like he can finally fix your belt issue on the mower. Yeah, yeah, I brought the belt. I'll take care of that first, and then I figured I would uh, take that over to my property and get to work on the tractor eventually. Well, I'll say, well, we need that trailer whenever you get done with that because we got oh, to okay. sticks up onto it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me. I'll go ahead and move this over to the other field there, and then I'll, I'll bring back the trailer. All right. I'm um, just letting you know the plan for the day because uh, you because you know your side is ready oh is it yep it's already put over there scraped together Ooh. ready for us to go so we gotta buy a trailer today how much money you got i got about seven grand all right we're gonna need it because we gotta buy a trailer we gotta buy a trailer today we gotta sell the wood we gotta sell a lot of wood yeah because the plan is i want to buy some sheep all right that's some lamb we're gonna need we're gonna need some better grass i think yeah well the plan is we're gonna strip all this out that's why me and bride this morning woke up and was cutting down all these trees me and bride's gonna go sell our wood real fast you get to work get that tractor off and if you could load up these pieces of wood over here that'd be great all right we'll see where i get by the time you're back maybe i'll be done hopefully god please don't let this boy kill me today i'm coming let me put my seatbelt on all right i'm gonna get out of here and i'm gonna talk to him for a second all right i think that was worth it don't you yeah 12 grand we pretty much walked away with there or 11 12 so cousin when are you gonna get rid of that old utility truck i don't think i'll get rid of it but i might replace it with something else being my main drive my main vehicle though right either go cut grass or go cut stumps either choice yeah okay all right let's go i'm trying this is a heavy load i know oh it's getting oh there we go oh no we might get six grand for this what they give you for that? They gave us over seven grand for it. All right, where to now? That's seven grand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got thirty-four thousand dollars right now. Wow. All right, where are we going next? Well, oh, right here actually. We gotta call talk to dealership see if they got any tr stuff for us. Oh, okay. So that guy may have spent a little too much money. What do you think? I mean, how many of these did you buy? I bought all three. Um. Future. What are we gonna do with this? So what we're gonna do? For, so this we're thinking future. Okay, we're gonna take these two home. And we're going to put them to the side when, because we got harvest season coming soon. Yeah, we do. That is, that is for sure. So we're going to put these aside for the harvest season. We're going to use this right now for the silage. And after silage, everything like that, you, you should fix that wheel loader type ordeal that we have at the house on the tracks. So you'll be able to fix that, and we'll be able to use these for that as well, and we'll get rid of that wooden trailer. Because these right here are on a steal of a deal. Because these right now, brand new, will go for about 22. We got these for 11. So let's go ahead and wow. hook up everything, and let's go ahead and get everything going. All right. All right. Let's see how this truck handles this. Yeah, it pulls it better than it pulls that other trailer. Sure does. How many loads of this over here do you think we're going to get? Mm, seven. I, I th I'm thinking about 10. I think we do five a piece, five loads a piece. Okay. And any more after that, we'll just continue splitting them up one and one. You know what I mean? Okay. We instantly went and started loading this up like you've seen us done a thousand times before. We went ahead, took it, and sold it for lots of money. Brian, you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? Bring it on home. Bring it on There's home. There's a storm coming in tonight. Right. Nah, no, it's just time to go to bed. It's just clouds, bud. Those are nice clouds. I know, right? All right, let's go to bed, everybody. Go to your house. See you. Bye. See you. Get out of here. Bye. And after we woke up the next morning, we went ahead and headed straight back and do what we were doing the day before. And after we got done selling all the harvest from the silage, we went ahead and decided what we were going to spend our money on next. I know what I'm doing today, I guess. I'm not cutting grass. Now you cutting grass. You ain't touching this field. Why? I don't trust you enough. Love you, son. Get back to work. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yo, cousin, you on the radio yeah, do you see did you see that money in your account i was just want to make sure they did that right yep almost four gram 
Oh, perfect. I'm on my way back. 10 4. Uh, hey, bro. You on the radio? Yeah. Go ahead yeah, and start cutting down the big trees. Some big trees over there. Um, if you get a chance to. I think you got about everything mowed down that I want mowed right now. Uh, okay. So go ahead, let's go ahead and cut some big trees and start putting them onto the log piles so that uh we can, once we get done with this, we can sell a bunch of logs. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Going to buy some toys. Oh, if we're going to buy some toys, hey, go sell that other wagon that we bought that we don't need. Okay. Cousin, you on the radio? I am. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start harvesting up this field over here since it's getting dark and I don't want to leave this out here until it rained on. Yeah, absolutely. Take care of that. I'll get that other load taken in and get you some money for that. I think, I wonder if your boy's uh, with that girl again. No, he, I see him over there working. He's cutting down trees. I guess he may not be able to hear me. Oh, that is loud work. Yeah. On my way back, I might have had an accident, but it's all taken care of. What do you mean accident? Turned a little too quick. There might be some extra dings on your truck. Eh, no, nothing, nothing big. Don't worry. I just tell my insurance company my boy took it out for a day. Don't worry. They'll I believe that. Sense. All right, go set up, boy. Love how I even told you that. Yeah, but okay. I can see you. Boys, we got a lot of new stuff. There's still a lot left to harvest, and it's getting dark quick. How's our thing going over there, Chris? I think I got the hang of it. We got it all in here. Damn, four. Well, we got I'm about 50% full right now, so I'll be bringing another load for you to pick up over there. Go uh, hook up the plow. Let's go ahead and start getting it plowed, and then we'll put down some lime after we get done plowing. All right. We got a lot of little work to do tonight. The next day. Well, looks like we got rain coming. What is this? Oh, that's my new mower. You didn't like my mower? Mm hmm. I wanted to diversify a little bit because, oh, yeah, I thought we with two mowers, you could get twice as much mowing done. Well, why don't you get your four times mowing into that pickup truck so we can go ahead and continue loading. Oh, that one over there? Okay. Yeah. Actually, uh, Bri, if you want to follow me for a second, I'll show you where the salvage pit is. Um, just walk me. It's over on his land. And we're just going to go ahead and get you to start put the grass over there on his land. All right. There's a second salvage what pit. What the heck? That is a very small one. Well... He wanted a solid spit, and I didn't have enough money to pay for concrete, so he got tires. All right, looks like I'm picking the last little bit. I want, like, one more scoopful. I got oh. sandwiches. Oh. oh, dang. I just woke up from a nap over here. Hey, cousin, you want a sandwich? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let me, get, let, me get, let me get down off the top of the truck. Thank you. See if the old man wants one. I heard that. Surprised you did. Was that how loud that thing is? You want a sandwich? Yeah, give me a minute. All right, All right. cousin, you're done. Get out of here. All right, I'll be back. What's looking at me like that for? Waiting for you to grab your sandwich. Oh, hand it to me. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you get that task done over there? Yeah, it's all done and blanket. Damn four, damn four. I think once the cousin gets back, I think we're gonna go ahead and cut down some trees around his house. He said he wanted to make it more roomy over there. All right. Should I go ahead and get, head over there and get it started? Nah. Yeah. No? Okay. Nah. Yeah. If you could actually go ahead and kind of get that truck over there filled up, that'd be nice. Uh, you about ready to go up at our cousin? Yeah. Where'd he go? He was up here with us. They went on heading down this house. Oh, okay. He forgot his truck. Well, he saw we were using it, so why would he take his truck from us? Yep, I'll meet you over there. Yeah, I'm gonna take the log grabber. Hey, cousin. Yeah. This is the tractor that's no good, right? That one we're not using. This is the one that we're taking the parts off of. Damn for, right, to I'll put to put on. back into the other one. Yeah, yeah, go. No trees falling on our bikes. All right, bro. Why don't you cut some of the ones like close to the house? It's not cutting down these little ones. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's professional. He wouldn't mess this up, do you think? I don't think so. I'm I'm cleaning up this one, though. I got this one taken care of. Yeah, four. Oh, that's... Yeah, that one definitely needs to go. Yeah. Wait, 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 Didn't I tell you to stop growing trees in your house? I did stop growing trees until your son dropped a tree on my house. So where are you going to sleep then? I guess I could crash with you guys for a little bit until we sort this out. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah, that oh. works for me. I just need somewhere to lay down. Yeah, we got a lot of trees we got to cut down still, which we've cut down on the majority of these trees over here. Speaking of uh, this area, uh, I went ahead and worked on this a little bit. I wasn't sure what you wanted to do. What all did you take out of it? Remember, we had to swap out the whole engine. This just, one's dead, ju dead. Ju Just the engine? Just the engine? Yep. I mean... It'd be a good decoration. That's a good idea. So what we're going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and attach it the rope to it. And let's go ahead and take it and put it up front, okay? Perfect. I think that looks perfect right there. What do y'all think? I think that looks great. I think uh, our, my stepmom's going to be impressed whenever she comes back and sees an old tractor right there. I think she's going to look at it and think that's her tractor. And then going to get really, really mad really quickly. All right. So I think the best bet was because we did end up clearing most of the trees yesterday, which that's why we got $93,000. That was a lot of trees. 90. So I 
actually, we'll go ahead and cultivate this up, and then we'll go and hopefully get some sheep. Do you want to go in the town? What are you going to do with this right here? We're going to cultivate it up and put good grass. Grass. Okay, so we can feed the sheep when we get them. We'll feed the sheep and more silage. So let's... And more silage. Yeah, silage is good money. Do you want me to go pick up some sheep? Uh, Well, I was going to ask you to come with me to pick up building material so we can build the pens. Oh, we probably should have a place to put them before we get them. That's a good point. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's a really good point. Also, look into freaking possibly another place. So we can get rid of this old rackety barn. I've already looked into it. They're wanting about fifty thousand. It'll be about fifty thousand for another barn. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna do it. I've kind of figured out how I want the layout of this barn or our, our new place to look. So it's just gonna take time. Okay, son. All right, because I'm just tired of seeing this old crappy place. Yeah, I'm right there with you. All right, let's go into town. Go get the wood so we can go ahead and start our new projects. And after we went to town to get our supplies necessary to build, we went ahead and started building our brand new barn and our sheep pen so that we can go ahead and add infrastructure to our farm. This looks amazing. Oh, is this yeah. the same farm? Nope. Am I in the right place? Nope. Get out of here. I uh, I just got a little bit of a tune-up done on your tractor, and I came back, and it's all different here. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. We got nice looking now. I mean, this is what happens when you leave us alone. Did you fix that other thing yet? No. He's not smart enough for that. What do you mean I'm not smart enough for that? You know what I'm talking about. You ain't smart you, enough to fix that trash because you've yet to do it. I think you hurt his feelings. I don't care. Hey, son, we, I got a, we got a bigger uh -oh. issues to fry. Well, what, what, what? Kinda... did you break something for once? No, 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 no. We got to get this, which is back here. <laughs> why the world did y'all put it way back here? I don't know why I did that because I'm the one put it back here. So we got to get this stuff right here. We got <laughs> someone that breaks <laughs> stuff and we got another person that puts stuff way in the back where we can't get it when we need it. Uh, all right. Uh, it shouldn't be bad. All we should have to pull out is the cultivator, the plant maybe the sprayer yeah. in the tractor All right now pull that out and put everything back in are you sure that we ain't gonna need anything else maybe the cultivator so put that up front everything else can go in the back someone better get started planting now what are we planting grass yeah we're planting good grass and after all that work, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have here. We have ourselves a brand new looking farm site. We have nine grand in the banking account, which is all we have left. After all, $90,000 have been pretty much used. We sold our old house. We bought this one. This was a really good upgrade for a house. We're all three going to be living in it. We upgraded. We decided to go with two bunkers. We put in the sheep pen, which we don't have the money for the sheep anymore. So that's great. And we also put in this brand new shed that we built with an old wood, new wood. We built it or something like that. It took us a couple months to build this ladies and gentlemen hopefully y'all do like this type of ordeal this little setup better i know i definitely do like this new barnyard new farm setup i mean it's definitely something we also went ahead and put up a fence all the way around the entire property and then after we got done with the farm we actually went ahead and started cultivating and now he is planting our grass field so we'll have grass going into this and we'll have a perfect little pasture and there's my son right now he's running down the new path we, we did go ahead and bulldoze this a little bit put some dirt in and and we had some guys come out. We paid a lot of money to have all this built, ladies and gentlemen. But, yeah. I'm going to turn my radio back on and talk to these guys. All right, cousin. How's that thing going? Is she going in the ground good? Yeah, it is. It's coming along nice. It's got a little bit left to do, but it's it's going to look great when it's done. Uh, You want the good news or bad news? I mean, good news? Good news is does not need many parts to be fixed. Okay. Bad news. Uh, The biggest part that needs to be replaced on it is a transmission. Okay. So, transmission and he says it needs a new starter plugs and a new uh alternator our cousin will fix it i don't know there's been something up it doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing he ain't the best but he can do it all right if something else breaks on it though and it wasn't me if it it's always you but trust me it's always you i've learned that actually with him doing that i think me and you can turn in for the night there ain't really much more to do sounds good to me I get the cot, you get the floor. I figured. Wakey, wakey. I don't wanna. Ugh. Wake up. We gotta go. Go where? Gotta go get breakfast. Eat something we have in the house. Our cousin's paying for it. I just need coffee. Why am I paying for it? You're the one that damaged <laughs> and broke my house. I was gonna so? say, I mean, <laughs> coffee's all I need. You're the only one here hungry. What, what do we got? All right. So first, let's go check out the grass field and everything and see how we're doing on that. Next, I know a couple of tractors that came into the old dealership today. We don't got money. We're broke. I said old. Oh, remember, that everything that goes there is over 10,000 hours. I don't care. We're broke. I need sheep before I buy a new tractor. New tractor would help. With what? Draining my banking account? I agree. Still, what? 4,990,000 to go? You know what? There, there's plans. Okay, son, we're going to go into a good business, but we got to wait for grass to grow. And it looks like over in a distance we have something to harvest it sure does all right let's harvest beans boys 
Hey, I just got a phone call. What? A certain old man that we worked for before, uh, his field's ready to harvest. Well, he can wait. Yeah, he's going to have to wait. Unless he's, he's got another he... tractor he wants to just give us for harvesting it, then... Even better. He got 10 k That's not worth it right now. Well, we got our own fields to harvest. What, you think I should prioritize that old man before I prioritize myself? That's 10 k we could get and put to another harvester that we could use to get We don't well. need another harvester. It's a waste of money, son. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to go get us a trailer. If these beans keep yelling like this, I'll be happy to June bug on Saturday night. I'll tell you what, boy, you should see this. We're at 66% so far. Nice. Gonna be a long week then. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'll say this, boy. If you think we need another harvester, look up and see how much one more would be. Ah, uh, if we don't need it, according to you, so we don't need it. Well, I mean, look up, see what it costs. You know how much it costs will depend if we get it or not, okay? Well, I mean, after getting a brand new farm today, I mean, yesterday, now nah, we're harvesting beans. Mr. Harvester looks like it's doing really, really good. Nate, you're on the Radio. TFO. I think you're gonna like this this trailer I got. It matches your truck pretty well. Uh, please don't tell me it was a big one. We just needed one that was big enough so I can unload it in this, and you can unload it into the pit. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's definitely what this will be able to do. Uh, you on the radio? Uh, I'm here, Nate. What's going on? I heard you yelling. Yeah, we got a problem here. What's the problem? She's not starting anymore. She just shut off. I heard a loud crank. I heard a loud banging noise, and then it just nothing. No. She ain't doing it. What in the world? What did you do to it? I didn't do nothing. I was harvesting. Is it full? No, it was 75%. Oh, that ain't good. She just need a nap? I don't know. There's no, like, gauges. Like, did you put coolant in her when you fixed her? Oh, of course. This belt looks fine back here. I wonder if it's the battery. Well, we, remember we replaced the battery brand new. We sure did. Yeah, the, yeah the, before we pulled it out, we did. The, yeah, the day we got it, brand new battery. Yeah, yeah. For once, it wasn't the kid. It wasn't. And he's nowhere to be found? <laughs> exactly. He, for the first time when he's nowhere to be found, this happens to break. Hmm. Something suspicious. Hmm. <laughs> it does. Um, I don't know what to do. Do you? Oh, just no. don't leave me without talking to me. Okay, I see how it is. I I thought you were following me. I thought uh, we were walking uh, back no, to the... No, no, no. I just don't want to talk to you anymore. What do you, what do you think of the new the new trailer? You no, know it would look better. Where the heck is my son? Probably with that girl. Hopefully, he's getting us a discount on a new harvester or something. Um, um, hopefully. I don't know, but I'm about to go find out. Alrighty. So, where, where's that boy at? What's done? Getting dressed. You're right. It's time to get to work because someone broke the harvester last time because someone didn't do their job right. What are you talking about? I was nowhere even near the harvester. What are you talking about? I told you prepare the harvester and you didn't prepare the harvest like you should. Not, and you're the reason it's broke now, okay? You got into it way before I could do anything to it and you had our cousin do it, not me. Hold up. It's a miracle. It's alive. It's alive. Oh my God. He got it's it working. It's alive. It's a miracle. Wait, where the heck did he get the money for the parts and the transmission? Remember, he has his own discount you know it is all money so wait this man had enough money to get a whole new transmission for that thing really about what do you think grand. i think it's a miracle she's alive you want to give it a shot oh yeah how many youtube videos did you watch how many youtube videos every one yeah. of them hold on let me get my phone out let's see <laughs> watch history yeah about 17 jesus how's it running she's running great yep and he's going straight for the silage bit oh yeah should do just fine for the show okay well um i guess i know what we're doing oh yeah we gotta do silage today no matter what yes yeah. we right. don't we don't have a working harvester we gotta Re we possibly gotta buy a brand new harvester. There's only one thing we can do, and that's all, right, all the silage. I'm gonna uh, go get the blue truck and hook it up to the trailers. Yeah. Uh, Have y'all seen the sheep yet? I heard them. Yeah, I spent about two grand and I got all these sheep. So I'm gonna go hook up to the truck. I'm gonna switch the buckets out and let's go ahead and start getting this stuff going, boys. We are officially good to go. Oh, 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 oh. Not that close. I forgot how much bigger the equipment was. You gonna have to back up, buddy. Cause yep. All the way to that into the house. I'm about to say I'm gonna need at least this much space right here. Yep. Yep. I'm new. Boys, we gonna make us some moolah. All right, you ready? What y'all thinking we gonna make? 100,000? Because we remember we got this one, then we got the small one. I'm going to say 80K. What did we make last time? Not enough. Yeah, we're I gonna don't make, remember. We're gonna make twice as much as last time. All right, that's full. All right, go ahead and take her. We'll be back. Now I gotta back on up. Start loading up this truck. I think she's full. 100% full? Yeah. It's full. Let me make sure. Perfect timing. All right. I can clearly see it's full. I to make sure. Yeah, now Chris can jump inside that and he can load that one. She's full. And all before Bri's even sold. Hey, Pops, we only got three grand for that load. Oh, this is going to be a while, this.
All right, boys, so we got done with that first one right there. Now let's head over there to the second one real fast, get that done, so we can go on and start our actual job day. Damn four. All right, buddy. Last little bit of silage. Oh, we have already 100 grand in the account. That's yes, perfect. sir. Been a good day so far, and it's early. Exactly. Now we get to go buy a new harvester. So let's go ahead and get this stuff put up, and let's go ahead and start looking at new harvesters, bud. All right, I'll get this last load uh, turned into the store and see where we're sitting. Yeah, far. And after we got done getting the silage all sold, we went ahead and took all $106,000 of that. And we bought ourselves a brand new harvester. We went ahead and bought a class dinosaur for a total of $40,000 so that we can go ahead and continue with harvest. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming helping us, buddy. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, wait. Have you met my son yet? Nope. All right, come on over here. Bruh. Hi, who are you? Bruh, this is your uncle, Blake. I have an uncle. You have several uncles. Remember, you met some of them back in when we used to live. Remember Uncle yeah, Hazard? Remember, well, okay. Yeah, I remember Hat Uncle Hazard, but outside of him. All right. Well, I figure since we got all this stuff to do, we got a lot of stuff to work on. Why won't y'all two go ahead and start working on the harvester since y'all two are the more mechanically inclined people? And me and him will start harvest. All right. Uh, okay. I'll say this, brother. This uh, harvester sitting here running as fine as a June bug on Saturday night. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, well, yeah. At least this one has a cab. Keeps sell this dust out of my face. Can't go wrong with that. You think them two are going to fix that combine or no? No, probably not. Nate, you on the radio? Yeah. We don't have a way of bailing any straw, do we? Not one bit. Should I just uh, chop it then? Yeah, that'd be idea. Because even straw don't make much. At least with that, it puts down an extra fertilizer. We got it running. Seems to be working good. 10-4. Uh, to make it easier on the bat, on the buggy boy, I'm just going to join you in that field. Oh, yeah, great. We'll get this done in no time then. Where's that boy at? He said he had to go do something in the house for a second. I'm not sure. What? I'm surprised you ain't full up there. Mm, yeah, I'm, yield must not be too good. Um, is you I'm 25% full. I am 97% full. There okay. we go. I'm full now. Don't worry. I'll take over the little. I'll take over your little swath in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't yielding the best, but it ain't yielding the worst either. Seems really good with this little tiny hopper over here. I bet it does. What you get about a thousand liters in there in total? Uh, it's look, looks like about 1,500. I got like looks like about 5,000 ish liters in mine so far, and it's got 70 ish percent. Not bad. So wait, what am I doing? I'd go get, uh, you can go get in a case I ate tractor and just start plowing the field that we just harvested. Are you sure your wife is just visiting her mom? You've been really low stress on paying off this debt. Oh, really? don't worry. She's been texting him about it every day saying you need to start paying it off. Okay, I was, I was worried that he had her get locked up. I don't know what you're talking about. My wife is with her mother. Dad, what'd you do? I did nothing. That would explain why she has a cape back. Your mo your stepmom is with her mother, okay? Like it or not. Hey, by the way, Dad. What? Guess who for forgot to put an oil uh the oil plug all the way on? Right. I'm just let I'm just letting you know. On the harvesters, the oil plug was all the way on. I just I'll let you know. It was what? So there's no oil plug when you went to go. Oh. Yeah, I never it's not, looked. It's but, not running very good either right now. Chris, do we need we, a conversation? I mean, we always need to have a conversation. Conversations are good. Is that the story you're going with? Yes. So, Nate, I don't know how much longer this, this harvester is going to last. Well, you got, a, you got a couple months before we need it again. So, go yeah. ahead and get his butt to work. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll see if I can get it running better. It was struggling a lot for me right now. Uh, well, I mean, if we can, just uh, let's, if we have to, put a brand new engine in it. Yeah, we might have to. I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I don't know about y'all, but I'm about to take the truck and I'm gonna go sell some stuff. What are you selling? You'll see. Okay, bye. Chris, you wanna come with me and leave him with the leave him with her, my son? Yeah, let's do that. Watch out there now. Ooh, twenty one thousand dollars. What did y'all just sell? What did we just sell? Was that wheat? wheat no, that was canola. Wheat. Wheat and beans. Hey, bro, do me a favor. Come over to the house real fast. I need to talk to you inside the house. Um, okay. Do I bring the tractor or what? It don't matter. I'm going to be inside the house. All right. All right. Ah. Make sure to turn your radio off. So, you see that nice truck your uncle has? Yep. Go take it and sell it to the dealership. Where's the keys? This in the truck. Go, 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 go. You see that? You see your account right now? Yep. Well, I'm sent, I sent him to go sell that real fast, so we'll be good. Oh, I just sold my old trailer, and and that got us a little bit of cash. We don't need that one anymore. Yep. Once we make the money off that, we'll be good. Chris, your radio's off, Who? right? Yes, it's off. So what we're going to do is we're going to call over the radio, and once we get the money, we're going to call over the radio and say that someone stole his truck, okay? Okay. Uh, that's a good deal. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that'd give us about 20-something grand, probably, so that ain't that bad. That's amazing. So let's just wait for those funds to come on. Then we're going to call over here and say, Blake, Blake, someone stole your truck that just drove off with it. 
Okay. Blake, 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 Blake. You on the radio? Yeah. Someone just stole your truck. Why? I don't know. They just, someone, we just happened to see it going down the road. Someone just stole it. I'm coming, I'm coming. Did you leave the keys in it? Yep. Oh. Look at here, look at here. Ain't that something? Ah. Where'd you get this from? My girlfriend's dad was throwing it away. He said, if you want it, have it. Blake, that's interesting. He leaves and he comes back with a new truck. He comes back with a new truck and your truck's gone. Yeah, Wait, I found that very gone? interesting. That is very well, interesting. Son, you guys I'm sorry, but if I took his truck, I would not be coming back with this. His That's truck was suspicious. worth like freaking 50K, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah, I would not be coming back with this. Hey, Chris, do you want to do me a favor and run yeah. up to town and take this money, this check right here, and go buy that property? Oh, absolutely. I was looking forward to this day. I'll be back. Oh, yeah. He's going to go buy that property because we'll fish on that field. If you look here on the map, we're going to buy a field 15 right here, which we're going to transform that into a completely silage field. All right, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go see this new land we bought. We're across my cousin. Just plowing going? the fields because no one else was. All right, yeah. I'm going to town. I'll see y'all later. Yeehaw! Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, wake up. What do you want? Time to wake up and get to work. Why work? Why do we gotta work? Every day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got that debt to pay off. What are we even doing today? Uh, Well, we bought that field. We wanted to clear the grass so we can take advantage of that before we put a field in there. I got a better idea. Why don't we cut down the trees in that field? Then we mow the grass. Same idea. Yeah, same idea. So we'll get the skid steer, take it over there, cut down the stumps, and we'll cut down the trees. I sound like a starting plan. I think so. Yeah. All right. Hey, why don't you go over there to your property and go pick up, take that trailer, uh, that wood, and take it on to the sale point because we're going to need those trailers. Oh, yeah. We need that cleared. Uh-huh. And I'm going to ride right, with well, you. All right. Hey, go ahead and get the skid steer out there. Okay. All right. Look, we got this now. We'll go ahead and take this over there. Cousin, you on the radio? I am. Where did you put the bucket for this? That is um, a mystery. I think it's by the silo. There it is. Yeah, I see it over there. I had to make sure. Yep, yep. Of course, now that he's gone, uh, you know what we might need to get eventually? No, what? We need to get a baler. Oh, just don't tell him. Yeah, he's been wanting us to go over there to his place. I just don't see the point. I think we'd get a better deal at another location. Yeah. Hey, Nate, where you want this trailer? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh be careful. Yeah, Did you kill that. him? Came close. Just park it over there. We're just cutting down the trees first. All of them? Yeah, we're cutting down every tree that's in our lot. I got a question. Do any of y'all know how much a semi-truck would be cost to rent? To rent? Hmm. Couldn't imagine it'd be more than a couple hundred bucks to rent. All right, let me call a guy. Let me see if I can find somebody that we can rent a semi-truck from. Where's Chris? That much money? That's that I, much? I just want to say, you said a couple hundred bucks. This said it's five grand almost. Who did you call? I called the only guy that we have in town. Is it like a Mercedes or what? No, it's an old raggedy one. They ripped you off. You could have bought it for that much. No, that's true. All right, I'm going to go up to town. I'm going to go pick it up real fast, okay? Yeah, yeah it's needed, though. It'll be worth it. Oh, Oh, yeah. All righty. So this is what we're renting right here. We're renting this first unit right here. Um, they said that we can just go ahead and take it. And I've already signed the paperwork, of course. I'm surprised they let me lease this truck. Um, but I'm not going to complain. All right. I'm going to pull around here. I'm going to go ahead and load her up. Get ready to load her up. Let me teach you a thing or two, son, about how to load up these things. You grabbed it all wrong. Switch with me. I right, ain't your son. <laughs> it's a common phrase in the South, brother. This cost you five grand? Yeah. I thought you were just getting a semi. I didn't know you're getting this huge trailer too why would i get just a semi i don't know i thought maybe you saw how terrible the driving with this truck was and you wanted to pull these trailers with it i can't pull those trailers with this oh i didn't know aren't you supposed to be a diesel mechanic what i do know is you're you're gonna have to we're gonna have to trim these no we're not i'm not driving not it not driver i'll drive it, drive it. hey I, last time i checked we ain't seen the dot out here we're fine now you guys got this taken care of you think we can multitask maybe i start cutting some of this uh some of the grass yeah what, what do you think next? start cutting grass yeah okay all right boys i'm getting the last log now ah uh, i cannot wait to see you drive that why are you say about that are you do you think i'm gonna not be able to get down there or something no i just think it'll be entertaining i'm gonna shut this off i'm gonna strap her down all right boys i'll see you later best of luck all right three oh. two one oh 18 not grand bad. that ain't bad at all not at all, all. Right, i'm gonna go ahead and return these two over here because we don't need this no more right uh, i don't think we have any huge trees to cut down just the little ones left all right well i'm gonna kind of leave it over here and they'll go ahead and make sure that's no longer being took out of our money all right i'm gonna start the journey of walking back have you been getting the stumps as you cutting down those little trees i just cut a few down and i left the tree right by the stump though well i'm gonna leave y'all to this i'm gonna start planting boys multitask do it you know what i got an idea how much okay. how much y'all trust me Not 70 70 all 
Alright, good. I'm buying a potato planter. Alright, boys, I just ordered the potato planter. It should be at the dealership now. Alright boys, well, I'm gonna try to throw the rest of our lime that we got on these fields. That would probably be best. Yeah, we're gonna need some more lime. I'm gonna need one of y'all probably take a trailer and go pick up some more lime for us. Alright, I got about three-fourths of this field already cut. You want to go sell these logs? Yeah, bring some lime back with you? Yep. Oh, the way this thing spreads the lime, that's about it, boys. Which we gotta cut this grass up here. Oh, that grass is ready, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, well, since this is uh, pure grass, I think we need to cut that up and bale it for the sheep, mm -hmm. don't you? I agree. So they I need think... some food. Yeah, because I think that'll be our best bet. And we've only got two pallets of lime left. Actually, less than two pallets. Probably about one. And I'm out of lime. I guess I'm going to start planting the part where I can. Might as well. We got to get as much out of the day as possible, right? Exactly. Ain't no time for sleeping. I'm not, boys. I ain't going to lie. I was not expecting to go only four miles an hour. Uh, when think... was the last time you maintenance that uh, tractor? Well, let's see. When was the last time you fixed the tractor? Hmm. Should be good. It's definitely not the tractor's fault. No, no. It better not be. If there is, me, me and you going to be having a little problems. Hey, Chris, you want come switch spots with me yeah now that i'm done huh oh you're done perfect time to switch i got one more strip to do i'll finish that up and then if do you want to cut the main grass yeah because some... someone called up boy he should be getting off here pretty soon tell him to go buy a baler and bring it over to the house does he have a phone i would I hope he does they hear y'all on the radio oh you're on the radio okay okay yeah i'm back in my truck i just got in it perfect do me a favor buy go to the dealership and buy a planter for me i don't care the price just tell him put it on the tab. i got four balers here at the store okay buy whichever one is a cheap one and bring it on back okay all right i'm gonna jump off it you jump on okay all right ready ready set go oh okay has my brother got back with us no he hasn't got back in line yet cousin you on oh. radio yep do me a favor when you start heading back here and you get here go ahead and start for uh go ahead and just start blake when you get back can you take care of the lineman for us uh nate's uh i think he's very focused on that grass right now yeah i'll do that hey y'all on the radio yeah y'all all right i'm on my way back how much is it uh two grand after the discount and everything did you already pay it yep uh, two grand for a baler. Where am I putting the baler at? Uh, just go ahead and just leave it right there, because uh, I guess we gotta start baling here in a minute. Alright. Did you just go buy the smallest thing you freaking could? I know you're a cheapskate, so I got the cheapest thing that was there. I didn't say I wanted to take ten years to load up the bales, though. Hey. Go take that back and go get me a real baler. Now that's a man-sized baler right there. That's what I'm talking about. That was an extra eight grand. Well, I'd rather spend the eight grand instead of having to spend ten days out here picking up little bales. All right, I'm going to go ahead and detach the mower, and I'm going to attach the baler. All right. Boy, is it starting to get a little darker? Sure is. Came out of nowhere. I mean, we've been working all day. Yeah, where the heck is uh, Uncle Blake? I haven't seen him since I got back. Well, he was assigned to go do a task, and he apparently don't like the task. Last thing I heard him was pitching a fit over the radio because he couldn't get something to work up there at the dealership, and the dealership told him no on helping him load it, so I think he's stuck there dealing with the dealership, if I had to take a guess. That doesn't sound like the dealership we usually go to well he well he's going to the one that we get the seed and everything out from you know them they're very temperamental there oh yeah they like to make us do everything boys i think we need to buy that tractor i do too it's two percent uh, off but we don't want the money for it right now. sell some of this grass i don't know we got anything in the silo yeah but i don't think it's enough um let me call the dealership and get them to and sell them one of, the, of our logging trailer well oh. they're gonna come they they should be here in a little bit to pick up that one of our wagons i sold one of the extra wagons we had yeah, okay are we sure this little tractor should be pulling this yeah as long as you don't lift it up yeah i found that out <laughs> boys i bought the tractor just letting y'all know it sounded like it our uncle must have got jump scared because they threw a tractor at him. Right, I'm gonna fold this up and I guess put it up for the time. Why? Wow. It's only it's only 10 o'clock at night. Keep working. So when do we work at night? Since we got stuff to do. Keep working. You work till 12 o'clock and you wake up early. Well, I don't think our cousin's gonna last that long. He might be an old piece of dirt, but he can live. Well, once I do this last little bit of a pass, I'm, we'll be done for the night, okay? What, you getting tired over there? No, there just ain't nothing else to do. Go ahead and fold her up and take her on and put her in the shed. We are done for the day, boys. I didn't take Chris long to go to bed. Did you really think he was going to be staying up late? Nope. Figured he'd stay up a little bit later than that, but hey. Told you he wasn't going to last long. Probably already took his meds, too. Problem? All right, I'm going to join him.
Why are you sleeping in so long? Huh? No. Huh? Are you wearing boxers? Um, kind of woke me up. Okay, we're 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 ready to get some farming done. Are you? Uh, pa um, yeah, sure. Hey, just give me one minute and uh, let me let me close out my phone real fast. Okay. It feels good this morning, boys. Anybody want to go to town with me? Yep. Yep. Come on, you can't leave me here. Nope, nope. I guess they want me to put pants on. It's ridiculous. We gotta start planting. Oh, what are we planting? Potatoes. Oh, lots of fun. Get down here. Fine. Let's get at it. Oh, a lot of fun. Well, I mean that's better than what I gotta do. You're going planting potatoes. I've gotta go start plowing. He's like, no, when that entire field back there done before sunset. Okay, no promises. Hey, we're back at the house. Where y'all at? Well, I'm watching my brother, your uncle, try to plant the wrong field, and I'm sitting over here about to start plowing this other field. I need you to get on the internet and look for us another potato planter. Potato planter? Okay. By the way, uh, our cousin got a new truck. Yeah, I got a pretty truck. How did he afford that? I have my ways. You, wor you working hard over here? Mm-hmm. Supervisor. Sounds about right. Uh, Brian, won't you try planting the uh, field? We only have one planter, and Blake's doing that, I thought. No, we have the actual planter. What What do you want planted? Mine in your field. Well, what do you He's want planted in it? He, oh, what yeah, kind of you crop? Want to. You think anyone in town would buy some seeds? Hey, we have that uh, old man that's over there. You want me to go harvest his field to get ten grand? That is true. We haven't done that yet. Um, boys. What yeah. did you do? Uh, tree in the way. Uh, may have Wait. taken out some of the pl some of the uh, plow. Oh, great. Okay, I'll come over there with this front loader and... Uh, I would recommend coming over to the front loader and some new shanks. I could have went to the house by now, ate lunch, came back, smoked a pack of cigarettes, and still, he wouldn't be in here yet. I oh, said, I'm getting back in the tractor. Where's my phone? Where's oh, it? no. Your uh, radio's still on. Well, yeah, I'm throwing these radios away at this point, because they always on. I mean, you got them. I'm about to throw something at you. How are you going to do that when you're way across the way? Hey, when hey, when you're sleeping at night, don't be surprised when you get water pulled on your head. Can you raise the plow for me? I'm scared to, but yeah, I can raise it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see them shanks right there are gone, busted at this point. They're bent all I the way do. Down. I think go ahead and lift it, though. I don't think it's going to do any more damage. See? It's all good. Yeah, totally. It's not like we're not missing the bottom parts of half these shanks. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think our cousin's losing his mechanical skills. I didn't know you could lose something you never had. I'm bringing this back to the house. You got to fix it tonight, okay? Yep, yep. I am on it. I'm going to get the rest of these trees while I'm out here, though. We need to make a path um, that's quicker to get to field 15 now. We'll make it once you quit complaining and you get the work done. Listen, yeah, work don't yeah. stop. Neither does your mouth. What's that? <laughs> oh, great. There's some static on this radio. I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I think we should get rid of these radios. Oh, is, is that true? Okay. Um, I have a text message from, oh, it's from the old man. What does he want? He says he needs us over to his farm today to harvest uh, what we planted. He says he needs us today like urgently because apparently if it, we don't do it today it's gonna wither away chris you want to go there with me and help me plant harvest it real fast yeah absolutely you want me to uh, bring the trailer yeah i guess i'll bring the harvester and after we heard about the news of the old man needing his stuff harvest today we went ahead and packed up the sprayer put it up and then we got our combine out and then we drove it on over to help our local farmer all right boys let's say we get in here now we can go ahead and start this harvest fun Yep, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm ready. I'm pretty uh, ready. I knew you were a pretty, pretty princess. I knew it. All right, let's get this thing started. I'm going to go ahead and start hard. Did he say he wants swath or no swath? Uh, I, I would guess no swath. Um, yeah, if he gets mad at me, it's his own fault. Um, just letting you know, uh, your stepmom says she wants you to go over there and help her out for a little bit tomorrow. I want to go see her. Too bad. You got to go see her. Why can't you go? You're married to her. She said she needed help from you. What you doing all the way over there, Grand Car Driver? Come on now. Uh huh. Having some troubles there, bud? Yep, I'm struggling. You, you, you haven't? Oh, it stalled. It stalled out. So it just happened to stall out right there in the middle. Yep, That's right it. in the way. I'm gonna go get the payment, boys. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, go get the payment. Hey, I need payment. Cut it on. He just 
text me saying stop banging on the door. Too bad, I'm banging on this door till he pays me. Open up the door. I want my payment. Thank you. Come again. Hey cousin, uh, you want to go to the dealership with me and buy a new planter? Should we drop off the equipment and then take uh, my new truck up there? No. Oh no, we need a t we need a tractor with us. Let me um, let me drop the trailer off and I'll meet you at the dealership. Sounds good. I'll just drop the combine up there. Okay. Let me, Chris, come on, let's go negotiate these people. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so we'll buy two of those manual planters. Thank you very much, and we'll take them on our way. All right, Brad, there's yours, and Blake, here's yours. What the? You know what these are? Not a clue. Nope. These are single row planters. All right, boys, come on. Let's get on get, get on one, and we'll go. We'll go sell up. the tractor. No, you're not. Come back here. I got power smooth. No, you don't. All right, so let's go ahead and get this over here, and we're going to start seeding the land by hand. Uh, what, do y'all exactly. not, like, not like them? No. no. Wow. I think that's the worst idea you, well, no, that's the second worst idea you ever had. The first worst idea was taking a $5 million debt and bringing us way out here that's ridiculous it, didn't you say we're supposed to have a visitor yeah uh I'm, I'm sure you got the same text i did we have somebody randomly coming i'm happy i sold you this truck because golly it runs smooth i i love it i cannot wait to take it out on a night on the town oh oh whoops i didn't see that truck there i think he hit your truck i swear did he honestly did you just hit my truck it, it's just a little scratch Oh, no. so, I mean, you already got handprints on here that are rusted out. It added character to what? 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 Oh no! That's why, a little scratch would, right there. Why would you do that? Why? Yeah. Because you scratched my truck, so you get put in the water. Hey, we got a message. What? Uh, he's on his way. Who's on his way? You You never told me he's coming. You, I just know somebody's coming. Hey, Dad, somebody's here. Uh, Hi, how's it going? Hi, are you the owner of this farm? Uh, luckily, no, I am not. That would be this um, ugly guy over here. Who, who are you looking for? Are you the owner of this farm? No, that'll be the one in red right there. No, I'm not. That's you, yeah, Dad. Yes, it is. It's the one in red right there. Trust me. I need to, I need to talk to whoever owns this farm here. Well, what, what's that'd it be to that you? guy. I'm from the bank, and I'm here to talk to you about your loan. Oh, Lord. All right. Yeah, that's me. All right. What's your name? I just didn't come to do a checkup to make sure you guys can pay your loan. I know you got a pretty, pretty big one, so just need to make sure. No, we ain't got a big loan. $5 million ain't that big. I'd say it's pretty big, buddy. Chris, you don't think that's big, dude? Uh, it's probably average. Oh, yeah. It's about average. I mean, that's about that average. Size. Yeah. You have Losing my bank account, have you? No, I have not. We have about a million dollars in the bank account right now. Of course, we have a lot of money in assets, everything like that, like hay equipment, uh, mowing equipment, harvesting equipment, planting equipment, and then of course the occasional truck or two. Um. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you need? You can get out now. Well, I don't know. What What are your plans to be able to make the money rather than selling the farms? I know you don't want to sell the farm. Um. Well, we can come over here. I can show you our newest plan. So you know, last year we didn't do too well with the last crop. So what we did is we did this right here. Potatoes, huh? Yeah, we bought potatoes. I heard prices are going down on potatoes, though. Are you sure it's a smart decision? I'm pretty, pretty positive it's a smart decision, okay? All right, and then this right here, we call this the mega project. We're going to turn this into one big cornfield for silage. Wait, when did you buy this? A few months ago. Did you talk to the bank before you did this? No. You, you should have. Why? Where'd you get the money from? How'd you buy it? I mean, we have a million dollars in the banking account. Yeah, but you owe five million dollars to the bank. Yeah, but we have two more years on loan, though. So if we have two more years on loan, we need a lot of land. Are you land. sure this is going to help that decision to pay back that loan? About fifty percent. What are you thinking? Trust me, these have been these guys have been asking me the same question over and over and over. They've yet to get that answer. They want to show them what we're planting it with. Yep, we'll go grab them. So okay. this is what we're going with for our planters. This one row planter. We've got we've got two of them. So you're telling me that you bought that big piece of land and. You expect to plant with this? Yes, I do. Well, he doesn't. He expects us to. <laughs> exactly. I yeah, made my third he's kind of a... Are you paying them minimum wage? They're family. I don't no. gotta pay them. I give them. I uh, give them shelter and I give them food. Okay, I'm watching you though. You can watch me all you want. I ain't doing nothing illegal. We'll see. There are two hundred dollars a piece, and so if I buy, we've already bought two of them. Now we just gotta be buy the third one. So I'll be six hundred dollars in planters, and it's gonna be faster with all three of them out there planting. Okay, and I'll get me four. a little what four. 
Hear me out. Buy a fourth one and you can help. No, no, no. Somebody else has got to tend to all the other crops. We got wheat in that field over there. And then we got potatoes in this field we got to take care of. Then we have all the grasslands in between we have to take care of. There's a lot of stuff we have to take care of. How much do you actually do? I do all the tractor. I do all the tractor work. And and what is that? Because you obviously plant by hand. No, we do have some plant, real planters. Um, We have this right in here. This seeder right here. And you're not using that? Why? Because this won't plant corn. The corn seed is too big to go through it. This is only the only time we plant the cornfield. So why go waste 13 grand on a corn planter when we just plant it for 600 bucks? Time is money, so that's what I look at it as. Oh, you know what? I'm glad you're here. Uh, is there any chance I can get a, like a $10,000 loan for seed? Nope. No, I'm out. No more Come loans. on. I just want a 10. Just give me 10. I can pay it back. No, 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 no. I promise. All right, a bus. What y'all been up to while I've been gone? Well, remember when those shanks broke? Yeah. Come look. Ooh, that looks all nice. Oh, it's even painted. Oh, pretty. Yep. How much I got it all painted. Uh, it didn't cost it anything. I took care of it myself. And also, big surprise, the cornfield is plowed and ready for lime. That is perfect right there. Actually, you want to go with me to town and buy a corn planter? We got money for that? We have 12 grand. All right. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go to town for that. And Blake, come here, Blakey boy. Yeah. You see those bags? Lime, you see all them lime? You see those bags of lime? Yep. Why don't you go ahead and start fertilizing? By the way, I'm just letting you know, you'll get about uh 10 feet in and then run out of lime. So go Good luck. All right, let's go before he yells at me. Uh, go get the tractor. Go get the case IH. Okay. Hey, Chris, you on radio? I am. How far back are you? Uh, up a little ways. Uh, I got, I'm almost to the fork in the road. All right, that sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and see what planters they got and buy it. All right, I should be there to pick it up, hopefully by the time you got it in your hands. All right, 10-4. All righty, let's go ahead and hook her up. All right, I'll plug them in. I think that did it. So now we can go ahead and take this on down. I'm going to let you take that. Back it up over here. We'll load it up the seat already. All right, are you going to rip one of those bags open? Yep. Um, all right, let's go ahead and start pouring them in. I think she's full. Yep, just got the last cap on it. I'll fold it back up. Let's take it on down to the place. I'm thinking another one of my cousins is supposed to be joining us here soon. His nickname is Trucker Massey. I think he said he wants to join us. Oh, okay. So they told me the one thing we need to look at with it is these closing wheels right here. They said we might need to look at it and make sure there's enough space in between them. They said other than that is should be pretty completely ready to go yeah i think these are all good yeah do you see any issues nope not any i see all right so she all should right. be good to go you can go ahead and take her back there and start planting i'm gonna try to feed the sheep up real fast and after i feed the sheep i'm gonna head over there and switch with you okay actually we wanna... i'm gonna harvest then i'm gonna come back there all right the sheep are fed hey brother wanna... blake yeah hey, what's up you want to head to town for me no nope. <laughs> well i need somebody to go pick up some pilot okay i'll do it i know you just love doing that job oh yeah i love it i'm gonna leave both pilots right here at the end Entrance. Thank you so much. Hey, Before, bro. Yeah. Yes? When you plan on repairing that harvester? Well, I was trying to prioritize things if uh, we only have one field to harvest right now, though, right? I thought the plan was before the potatoes were ready and the wheat was ready, I had to have that done by. We might want to know what the dealership would give us for it. If they'd give us a good price for it, so like 20 grand since it's now running and driving, we might want to take it, go ahead and sell it off, and possibly look into buying some new equipment, bigger equipment for certain things. Okay. Oh, holy moly. Either I just hit the jackpot or I'm guessing, Blake, you sold the thing? Yep, I sold it. All right, Blake, let me call the dealership up and get them to place the order for the fertilizer. All right, I'll pick it up. Why did we never get the black truck out of the water? Uh, because I'm mad at you. Uh, you do know that the pollute, that that's technically pollution and we can get a fine for that, right? Mm, it's not my property. But it is your truck and I can say you're the one who put it there. Should probably get it out of there then. Oh, how is Bri doing? I haven't seen him. Uh, He's laying down inside the house right now. Oh, I might go check on him in a little bit just to say hi. I almost want to say, why don't we eventually hold an, an auction, eventually sell off a lot of this older equipment and buy some newer, bigger equipment with it. I love that idea. All right, she's all hooked up. She's ready to go. I'm going to go take this over and plow. Because I was making sure I didn't break it. You don't have to fold it up to be able to Hey, I was it. just being extra careful. I don't like breaking your stuff. <laughs> Hey, Nate, mm -hmm. you want me to put potatoes in this field you just harvested? Yes, sir. 
All right, I am on it. All right, boys, I'm getting to the end of this right here. I've got eight, well, 7% left. I'll probably about 6%. And I guarantee I'm going to run out before I get the end. Boys, I got 1% and I got 10 feet left. You can do it. Fuck, it's going to be by the hair of my chin. There's no way. There's you no can do way. It. There's no it. way. Five liters. Five That's efficiency there. Liters. Hey, y'all on the, anybody on the radio? No, go away. We don't like you. Okay, I guess they don't want to know the price for the harvester. What's the price? He said he'll offer up uh, anywhere between 10 and 12. Okay. Cousin, how much is it? would it cost to fix it? The harvester? Yeah. Oh, I could get it done for about maybe 1300 If we put $1,300 worth of work into it, then we sold it then. I probably put it about fifteen grand worth, so that's worth it, ain't it? Y yes, absolutely. And wh what are we getting in replacement, though? I mean, we don't need another harvester. We technically have a really good-sized harvester. How are we pulling these potatoes out? We're, we're going to wait for silage before we pull potatoes. Hey, uh, what's it called? Y'all got any sprayers over there? Uh, yeah. We got two other ones that just came in. We got one more on it. Uh, that's, we got to go pick up. Okay. What's those, uh, wingspans on those? Uh, 12 and 18. How much y'all want for the 18? According to what I got told, 12. 12 grand? Okay. Chris, do you think we just do a fair trade-in for the harvester for that? I mean, it saves me time. I got a lot of other things to do. So we would lose two grand by not waiting for me to fix it. Uh, you remember that John Deere sprayer I have? Uh, yeah. How much would y'all give us for that sprayer? Well, that was the original price we paid for that. I don't know my boss's mind really to it, so. All right, ask him how much he'd give us for it and then get back with me. <laughs> I wonder how much they'd give us for your truck. My truck in the water? Yeah. Oh, how much they better you give us a that? lot. I'm not very comfortable saying. Well, I'm just trying to figure out how much we can get back out of it. It wasn't cheap, and I, I didn't want to get rid of it. I paid my own money on that thing. You're going to need a brand new engine on that one, bud. Yeah. He just said, go ahead and bring all the, the equipment, and y'all can discuss it while y'all are here. Well, let me sell some things real fast first, and then I'll be over there. All righty. All right, I'm selling a little wheat now. That gave us that much. I'm going to sell the beans next and see if we can get at least get about three more grand. That would uh, that would be ideal. Yeah, three more grand would help a lot. All right, and let's sell this. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Oh, uh, boy. That was a good harvest. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All righty. So they are going to come pick up this sprayer here in a second, which looks like good old Chris just got done would work. Yeah, it's all done. Perfect. I'm going to park this over here, and then me and you got to go and buy another sprayer. All righty. I'm here to buy that $12,000 $12, sprayer. Um, okay. Do you want to look at it first? Yeah, I want to take a look at it first, but I'm coming to buy her, so. Oh, it's this one right here. Oh, perfect. Just out of curiosity, how much is this right here? Uh, it's 15. Okay. All right. I'll buy that eventually. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this. All right. So, I have my name here, you said? Yep. And if anything happens to this, uh, we are not reliable now. It is yours. Oh, good. You're going to tell me that. Well, just know if something happens to us, something might happen to that red truck of yours. My truck, it wasn't as much as uh, our cousin's was. All I'm saying is be careful. You going fishing over there? I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> trying to go fishing for that truck? You need some help there, bud? Yeah, I would love some help. Okay, thank you. We're all, all right. hooked up? Yep, pull her. There, there you go. Is. She's coming right out now. All right, thanks for unpolluting the water. Yeah, I didn't want us to get fined. All right, I'm going to spray that field that you just planted, okay, cousin? Absolutely. I'm going to watch. I want to see this. I'm heading over. Go. Oh, my. That thing is huge. Oh, look how fast you're going to get that done. That was money well spent. Oh, definitely. All right, boys. It's done. No right. way. What a good investment. Well, boys, I think we're done for the day. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Three weeks later. I got my morning jogging. Let's wake these little boys up. All right, boys, wake up. Rise and shine. What? We uh, don't get December off? No, no, you don't. It's time to work. Anybody know where my medicine's at? You don't need it. You'll be fine. He just got ran over by a truck. Uh, he's fine. He will be fine, okay? I'm happy our cousin's actually worried about me. I'm worried about you. Not that much, though. So. Let's get to work. Fine. We got work to do. Here, take Boys. one of these. They're the, ex they're the extra strong ones I found in your dad's uh, cabinet. Now, what, is Thank it blue? You. Is it blue? I wouldn't give that to him. I beg your pardon? I guess it's time to start selling silage again. Yay. I mean, it's boring, but it, uh, it, it pays, pays so bills. good. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess while I'm doing this, Chris, do you want to start planting? What am I planting? Corn. <gasps> no way. It's corn planting day. Actually, it's corn planting day for that. And then, Blake, you're going to be on mowing day. So, Bryce, me and you. You get to drive an excavator, and I get to drive a pickup. Let's have fun. All right, bro. Go ahead and get in the wheel loader. Come on, bro. You're being slow. Well, 
the arm on this thing's sucking. Like, it's not really m moving. Lord have mercy. All right, just be fast with it. Please tell me our cousin actually made sure the arm works fully on it. Hey, you cut it out over there. We've already done a whole thing of silage with that, and it worked perfect. I was about to say, that's just that's just the operator at that point, bud. We're in a full, bro. I'm going to go ahead and take this. All right. All right, so we're going to continue dumping this out. We've already made a two grand. Hopefully, we'll make about six, eight grand from this. We've made eight grand from that. They're hungry again? They're always hungry. What do you want from these people? You got everything lined up out here. This is kind of nice. I didn't do it. I'm going to spend Bri. Either Bri or Blake. Well, you, which, you know, Blake went home today, right? What? Yeah, he went on home. You let him? Believe it or not, you're allowed to go home at any point you want to. It's, you know that, right? Well, there he goes. I'm kidding. Yeah, you need this paycheck. All right, so what are we doing today? You know what we're doing today? I don't. I was, I was going to ask you. See, the only thing I know is we're done with everything. I think because, you know, yesterday we sold off the rest of the silage. Finally, that's all sold. We have about 200 grand to spend. So I think I might go to the dealership today and uh, do a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Uh, your best bet right now. I know the uh, Case IH right now and the Massey Ferguson both need uh, new fuel filters and new stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I'll start with the case. And then uh, also go ahead and repair. Go ahead and uh, do a little bit of, like spray paint work and all that stuff on like the mowers and all the implements because all that stuff is getting pretty used up right now and yeah this one's actually yeah that's looking rough okay yeah okay yeah i'll start taking care of some of that all right thank you buddy i'm gonna go down to the dealership and go spend more money oh okay hey chris when i get back you know some of that old equipment we have around the shop that just we ain't using anymore yes why don't we just do like a big auction like put it online and sell it off in an auction i think that's a good idea because we're not using it and it's just kind of wasting space in the in the barn at this point and I'm, i know with your debt you could use the money yeah ain't that the truth what are you doing here well let's spend more money didn't mom text you last night saying don't stop spending money oh we got 200 grand we can spend money she, she won't notice it i need a potato topper i need a potato harvester and i need a solid chopper well okay then and then yeah. possibly a new tractor here's the first one what do you think what's the hours on it do you really want to know that kinda well okay we technically got two of them one is honestly actually brand new everything's replaced on it this one on the other hand it has over 12 hours on it still a little bit low such how old it is all right so how much you want i'm gonna say that the dealership's gonna want 18 for it 18,000. yep sold all right, that's the easy part. There's potatoes, and you only got one topper over here. How much y'all wanting for the one topper? We're asking 12 for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see the rust on it. Yeah, she's old. All right, so I'll take that as well. All righty. Last but not least, these. You know what these even are, son? No, I'm still uh, trying to figure stuff out, honestly. These are okay, too not, new to me. And I'm not even going to... These are the pieces of equipment for the corn we're going to need. How much are they wanting for these? Let me pull it out on my phone. Uh, 20K is looking like. All right, so we'll just take this one right here. We'll take this one right here. So yep. that's 20K. Let me get my calculator out. 20 plus 15 plus 12. We're at 47. All right, that leaves me plenty of room in the budget to buy some other stuff. Um, What's this worth? 25. 25,000? Yep. That's it? I mean, yeah, it has quite a bit of hours on it. I mean, you can hop in there and look. Oh. Sold. Okay. Oh, All right, so sold. that brings your grand total to what? Looks like 70,000. All right, is there anything else? I mean, let me look around for a second. Hold up. How much is it to 4490? 28,000. You know what? Why not add it to the grocery list? All righty, and that brings our grand total to... $100,000. All righty, so who do I pay? Go in there. My future father-in-law is working in there. Yay. Yep, you get to go and interact with him. All right, thank you, sir. All right, Told so, you he wasn't nice. Ain't that the choice? Oh, I, st I still don't. Just, I don't see what you see in that woman either. Get in the case I H and let's start transporting stuff. Yeah, yeah. And after paying our hundred thousand dollars, we went ahead and loaded everything up and took it on back to the house one trip at a time. And once we got there, my cousin pulled up shortly after me with a bit of a surprise. What the heck are these? Please tell me. Just for all my lord, tell me this is a project you're working on for somebody else for extra money. Why would I tell you that? Because I'm hoping that's the case. Well, you tell me that these are a project you're working on for someone else <laughs> they're not these aren't a part they're the newest additions to the farm and all oh, look at look at the paint job over here look how pretty I, I don't care about that right now now why did you buy this we didn't need another tractor i told look you at, look at the look at this oh no, new oil filter quit, new quit, transmission quit no we're not we're going to discuss this information right here i look told, at these tires look at these where did you get the money that's none of your concern it really it's is not out of your debt 
debt. It's not out of your debt. It's not hurting you. This is just going to help. If it helps, uh, he also traded in your truck. I did what? You did what? You signed extra paperwork, traded in the truck. He did not disclose that information to me. You did that what? That wasn't me. Why did I pay full price for How much did you pay for it? How much did you pay for it? 76000 You want to know something interesting? No. What? I paid 25 for this and 28 for this. But also, so... apparently, I traded in your dad's truck and I paid more and you called me your favorite cousin and you ripped me yeah. off. You never said anything about trading in a truck. Apparently my father-in-law did to you. That's what he told me. We're going to have to have words with this father-in-law. I'm going to have to have words with both of y'all at the end of this. You know what? Get over there and start spraying off that over there. I was going to clean up everything right here. No, it's your, you're, you're doing the pressure washing right here. Get, and I'm confiscating Wait, your truck now. But now no. I don't have to pay the dealership to use theirs anymore. I mean, what? No, no, nothing. Hey, you better you be both alive. fell for the prank. Thank God. So he didn't <laughs> pay. You still, got, you still got your truck, but he did pay 76 k for that tractor. I'm going to kill him. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to kill him. I was, yeah, you oh. did trade in the truck. Do you want the head start now or later? Uh, One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. I'm going to kill you. No, he did not just do that right there in front of me. Your cousin just broke our fence. What? Get your butt here and you're fixing the fence yourself. Have him fix it. He Tired broke it. You people. I'm laying down for a little bit. The next day. Wakey, wakey. Coffee's ready. Oh, up? you've learned. I don't. I'm just making it for y'all. I don't drink it. I know, but you didn't ask for breakfast this time. No, that's uh, that's impressive. Yeah. I, um, I might have already left and gotten some. Hey, you want to go get some pancakes or something? I'm thinking Waffle House. What about you? Waffle House? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. We'll be back later. Don't tear nothing up this time. No promises. Well, that wasn't the best breakfast in the world, but it wasn't the worst either. Yeah, you know, sometimes a little bit more than coffee is worth it, though. Exactly. Do you think he broke anything this time? Of course. Brock, get your butt back here. I see you backing away over there. All right. We got work to do. Let's go out through all the equipment and decide what we are officially going to put on eBay and sell it, okay? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't think we need all this? No, not at all. Forty-nine fifty-five. I mean... That we're keeping that. Why? I'm keeping that. Fine. Now these two. I think we could sell both of these as a pair. I'm about to say, let's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of these two. We got to get rid okay. of them. Okay. I also think we need to get rid of this. It, it, I don't think it's a piece of equipment that we can really afford to keep around because it's going to break down in a few more days. Uh, well, I, I would say it's in our best interest to get this off our hands. Yeah, exactly. And possibly look at it. I wonder one. why. Let's move on. What's the next one? Now this right here. I think we upgrade. I think we upgrade this. Or do we possibly look for a second one of these instead of trading it off and getting a bigger one? Or do we get a second one and make the work two times as fast two times as fast is always better for me when we're, we're, this this farm is growing so at some point we're going to be we're not going to have like days like today where there's not a lot to do we'll keep it and this is a guarantee keep that, that, that's yep. the best in the market i think uh bro i'll be happy when i say this i think we sell the pair yep the promos I mean, I, yeah i'll be happy i just don't think a certain person would be well here's what i'm gonna say is we have that farm all up there on the rock we can just say that that's her farm all and it's just broken that's what i'm talking yeah. about because Won't it is be mad it, there is th there is the broken engine in that trash because he put the broken engine in it. So. Yeah, she won't be able to get that started, so it's believable. So what? Oh, this right here. Spreader, it's got to go. I'm tired of this little sucker. All right, what about this? I'm this wind rower sucks. It. I said we get rid it's, of it. It's tiny. What about this? So now that I'm thinking about it, do we really need this piece of equipment right here? I mean, not, not really. We've had it for how long now? What is this one called? The the white farm yeah, equipment I, definitely can replace that, right? So these well, are just like redundant tractors. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's get this right here. Would be worth more money, and let's just make my wife happy and keep this. You know what they say: happy, happy wife, wife, happy, happy life. life. Exactly. Yep. At the end of the day, this right here. Don't get me wrong. Now this right here is a good little tractor, but we still need a small tractor around to pull equipment in and out of the place, and it, it just it makes everything easier. But this is worth ten grand compared to two grand. Which one makes more economical sense? I mean, we could sell both of them for twelve grand. But then we have to go buy another little tractor because we have to have a little one. So I think we just get rid of this pair instead of that pair and we just get rid of the spreader over there uh chris all right yes come with me you know what this looks like it almost looks ruined this is ready to harvest Ooh. we gotta remove we gotta remove the foliage so we gotta that's go. what that topper that's the first the that, that thing i asked you okay that goes on just one of the regular tractors yep so we're going to on the this. back yep. on the front the back, back. okay you, either or but i mean we only got back one so we're just gonna cut it back go ahead and start we'll go ahead and start harvesting potatoes today all right i can you want me to take care of that uh, i'm gonna help up the harvesting uh i'm gonna start with
the topper and then we'll switch okay okay hey look at how convenient that opening is listen it ain't staying it is no, not i think we should leave it son you are replacing that fence if that's the last thing you do never harvested potatoes before how do i know if i got them all it picks them up trust me it does one row at a time oh i see i see okay we're about to be here for a little while yeah, yeah this tractor might be a little big for this job I'm not saying nate was right but um he wasn't wrong hold on detach that let's try to attach this one up see if this one's any better okay so i guess we're gonna need a new harvester a new, another one of these harvester boys what do y'all think yeah i definitely yeah. think that's a good plan but were we gonna we're gonna sell that stuff today are you put it on did you put it on that on the ebay or where would you say you're putting it we're putting it on ebay okay I thought, I thought so we now we just Amazon. we just kind of wait are you yeah. full yeah i'm full where are you gonna put those so since we don't really have a way to store these because these have to be stored underground actually you know what would be perfect let's cut down let's cut down these right here let's let's get down and let's get rid of some of these fences and we'll make one big pile of potatoes right here in the middle and then we can take these fences right here and put them on the other side over there where someone broke through the fence all right does that sound good everybody sounds good all right let's sounds get good. to work What in the world is wrong with that kid? Alright, enough now. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, it's too early for this stuff. The guy's here. Thank Lord. Is he taking you with him? Nope. He offered to take Blake, though. Ah, we could get... Oh, oh, he's back. Why did he come back? He was supposed to be... I don't know. Do you not protect my stuff from nobody? Like, I tell you, you're not letting people back on this farm. You just let... Are we just a wilderness camp? You talking about Mike? I mean, it, we're family here. What guy's here? The guy to pick up the equipment for the thirty-eight thousand? Yeah, he's sending his semi truck. He said he would wait on you to come and talk to. Him. All right, let me go over there and talk to him first. I think so. We'll go ahead and load everything up. Just sit in truck, okay? All right, the old man wants us to load everything up for him, boys. I still can't believe this man's wanting this harvester back. I mean, it's not it's the old. It's fine. One. It's perfect. We fixed it, so it should be yeah. fine. By we, we mean uh, Jiffy Lube. What does he mean by that? You're like Jiffy Lube. Oh. Quick and does a terrible job i don't know how to take that all i'm gonna tell you is name a jiffy lube that does a good job i'll wait all right sir go ahead and leave out everything's all loaded and ready for you to go okay have a good one how did the oil plug fall out of that again if i if i get a request for his money back before he gets back to his place i'm letting you know now you're you're fired oh nate by the way we got a bunch of silage over in in my field okay. i think i'm gonna load it up and go sell it for us that sounds good well we just got yeah. thirty eight thousand too so i gotta go spend that money listen to me i say this i'm going to buy stuff do not go to the dealership and buy something new understood okay okay which trailer should i use either one of them i don't care you use any of the equipment you need i should use both okay. of them so you can go ahead and get it done faster okay all right i'm gonna head on over all right buddy have have fun shopping i will you go to work so i can go get stuff buy stuff from you yeah oh, great get in the truck all right we're here all right perfect time to spend more money yay i'm over all here right. i'm gonna look around for a second since uh somebody got rid of my good stuff aka yay. my truck i need to look for something new we can get a special order in i ain't got that much money I know you know, but I mean, the battle you've oh, been spending lately. Holy, how much is this right here? Too much for you. I, I just want to know how much is it? I'll tell you this. The hours are very low on it, and it's a half a million. Give me one minute. I'm going to call him about this. Give me one second. Hello? Hey, I got a question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. How good is your credit? Um, Before I uh, rejoined you here on the farm, it was pretty good, but right now it's struggling a little bit. Dang it. I was wanting to buy a... It's an expensive piece of machinery... Over here is a potato harvester. I think it would look great on the farm. I do agree. It would look great on the farm. Do you think we but got the money for it? How much did you say? Uh, over, it's, it's in the six figures. I don't really think that that would be possible. The bank would not go for that. Oh, well, we know they ain't going for me. So, all right, let me, yeah. I'm going to buy just what we were planning on buying. And then I'm going to head back to the house, okay? Oh, uh, it sounds good. All right, see. All right. Let's say we ain't buying that, sadly. Yeah, uh, good. What do you mean good? That's a sad situation. No, I'm... hey, that's money saved right there. Says the person that that willingly let his uncle buy a $75,000 tractor after I've already been here and bought two tractors on the top of that. All right, so I guess we'll pick this up right here and then we'll pick up another one of these because I already know how that's gonna go. How much we want right. for both of these? Well, if you're wanting both of these together, then it's gonna be about 60 to 62,000. All right, we'll take it for 62. We'll go ahead and get it out of here. And then on top of that, we need a new spreader. So how much is a spreader? 15. All right, we'll take it. Get that receipt written up and we'll go ahead and buy everything. All righty, she is all paid for everything like that. So do me a favor. I'm going to walk to the house, deliver everything to the house. Thank you. You're the best son ever. Love you. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Blake, you on the radio? Yep. Yeah. 
I'm what here. You, what you doing over there, bud? Loading silo up. Ten four. I'm just over here topping these potatoes. I thought that. You know where my son is? Have you heard anything from him? Because he's supposed to be here with our other harvester for the potatoes. Because we need to go and get these potatoes out of the ground. Nope, I haven't seen him in a long time. All right, well, just keep your eye out for him. I know these potatoes are going to take us day, almost days to do. It's going to feel like. But once we get them out in the ground, it's going to be better. That's for sure. All right, man. Just keep on working. Okay. What in the world is that? Hey, Nate. I had to change your heart. How do you like our new potato harvester? Chris? Yeah. I need to that's take, our new potato I need, harvester. I need to take a look at that. Hold up. This is what you called me about, right? Chris, I don't think that's a potato harvester. What do you mean? They only had one potato harvester over there. And that potato harvester is worth a half a million dollars. How much was that? This was um this was like a hundred thousand. I think it was like ninety five. Oh. I talked Brian to a good deal. It's the same one. Okay. So when did they remove the cab and the self propelled the self propelled part of it off? Wait a minute. That huge piece of equipment over there is what you wanted? Yeah. You know, the thing about that dealership is they don't have a return policy at all. All sales are final. <laughs> Please tell me you're lying. You're borrowing it for a couple of days. No, these are ours. So if that's not a potato harvester, what is it? Sugar beet. So this now means we have to plant sugar beets now. And you spent $90,000. Yeah, yeah, so we can plant sugar beets. That's why I did that. What's he backing up for? Come where's here. You, where, come where here. Are you going? Come here. No, no, come here. Come here. No, yeah, no, yeah, 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 you going back up. You want to talk about it? Delivery for, uh... I don't care about that part. All I care about is why did you let him do it again? I told you no. And I even told you, don't spend all my money. I was just trying to make you happy, cousin. He was very convinced that that was a potato harvester, so I said, you know what? Let him learn. Yeah, yeah, you're letting him learn from my banking account. That wasn't your money. That was my money. Where are you getting... Where is this money we want to buy a new property? I asked that same question. Yeah, run like a little coward you are. Get all this stuff off the trailer. Where's my solid harvester? Haven't gone and got it yet. All right, get it off and get everything out. Lord have mercy on Tyler We'll say, Chris, it'd be nice if you could eventually go ahead and get one of the tractors to start harvesting potatoes. Yeah, I was thinking about multitasking and taking care of this grass here so that we can keep making money off of silage. Uh, we're not silage in that. We're on bail it. Oh, we're going to bail it? Well, it needs cut either way. Let's worry about potatoes first because the potatoes got to come out of the grass so we can go ahead and replant. That can be, that can wait a day or two. So this new, my new potato harvester I use? No, use the one that I bought. That 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 just needs to be a lawn ornament because that's sugar beets. You're topping it right now so I can just come over there and pick up some, some potatoes? Yes. I will do that. You better or you're fired. All right, um, bro, you take over that. I'm going to go get into the other tractor and start harvesting with the other potato harvester. Yeah, okay. Chris, how's the potato harvester running? Really good. It's just, uh, I wish it was uh, more than a single row. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm in the other case stage now. I'm putting it up to gear. So let me go ahead and get over there and hook up to the other harvester, and we'll go ahead and knock it out today. Are you sure we can't modify that thing I bought to do this? Yeah, I mean, you possibly could, but I mean, as of right now, it won't do it. Might have to look at that. Uh, when was the last time we had him check maintenance on the tractors? Two or three weeks ago? Yeah, they're all great. And, our, and none of them stopped yet, so... Chris, this right here looks beautiful. It does. Look at all three of us. This is amazing. I know, right? Come a long way. Shoot, I remember when we didn't even have a tractor to start with. Help! Help! I'm busy right now. If I ignore it, it just goes away, don't it? Yep. Help. <laughs> what, bro? I think our cousin forgot the oil plug again. Chris? All these accusations are really getting, they're getting tiring. I'll, I'll tell you that. Chris? I'm I'm, I'm not having it. When was the last time you changed the oil on that tractor? I mean, you said it yourself. It was about three weeks ago. Did you check all the tractors? I mean, we had about half as many, and most of them are gone now that we had at that, that time. So, I mean, I think that might be the only one we had then. Yeah there ain't no oil plug at all i don't know what to tell you it was on there yeah i think you had it on there too tight though because it it's in two pieces right now i guess that explains why it took so long i'll go buy a new one a new what tractor yeah for your sake and your living uh if you would like to continue doing that a uh, second one uh please don't well stop accusing me of things i'm just trying to make it better i'm gonna go You're get exactly a trailer exactly like jiffy load this up on poor have mercy <laughs> Wake up! Hey, 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 now, hey, now. Wake hey, up! Hey, quit, 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 quit! Pah. 
<laughs> come here. Where you at? <laughs> no, no, no. Come here. I'm gonna, I'm open you for this one. Get back over here. What are we doing today? We're not harvesting anything. We need to cultivate, but we don't have anything yep. to cultivate with. Well, we gotta harvest the potatoes. I know that. We gotta cultivate and we gotta plant sugar beans. Let me go change real fast and we'll continue this conversation. You ready to go, Chris? Um, if I have to, I guess. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> I guess we gotta go to dealership. Which dealership are we going to? Uh, we gotta go to Brian, his uh, old man's. All right, we've made it finally. It took us 30 years. What is this truck? Oh no, that's a nice. Nah looking truck though you want to explain something yeah trading my truck in also uh, i'm taking a thousand dollars out of the account to also get it you make your own money we don't touch your money you ain't touching our money my money is your money you ain't put a dime into my account i call something else i call my eye though yep i been saving this literally for about two oh, oh. three days now for you oh, how much uh 30k chris 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 yeah you need a new truck well kind of. where'd this one come from let's just say some random guy said hey i'm gonna attach a front loader to it and and well, here we are. Yeah, I don't want this. It truck. works. I like this though. No. Okay, last bad. last time. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> I've had the UK with them this time. Put it down. Put it down. Get out. Nope. You can buy a truck, but you can't buy nothing else. 25 grand. 28. 25. This is a business and I can't go any lower. This is a business and I can't go no lower. I guess we can go across town and go get it cheaper. Let's go, Chris. No, they're back. Yeah, because you have other equipment we need. You do know that truck's prepaid for, right? Yes. What do you mean prepaid for? Uh, my father-in-law went ahead and bought him the truck. Huh? What do you mean yep. father-in-law? Yeah, what do you mean father-in-law? Y'all are just down catching on to this? <laughs> what do you mean father-in-law? <laughs> There's one thing to say my girlfriend's dad. You got married? I literally been saying father-in-law for like a week now. We didn't married. get invited? You did. Y'all just both didn't come. We're my invitation. How about check under your bed where you put it? The only thing I keep under my bed is the only farm stuff, okay? Oh, boys. They got me a new drug. Chris, do me a favor. I'm going to leave What's you that? here. Buy a new cultivator for us. Try to see if they got like a spreader or something like that and pick that up too. And anything else you think that the farm might need. Anything else. Yeah, I'm going to trust you, okay? Okay, anything I'm going to look around here. Might. So, we're going to kind of pull on up into here. And we got to instantly go ahead and get straight to work. We got to start topping the potatoes. Get that done and instantly go ahead and get started with the other stuff. And this tractor looks like it has been fixed from where Chris broke it in the last episode. And they said that they completely tore up the oil plug on it and so they replaced it brand new replaced the engine on there and we got a brand new engine everything like that on this as well and so right now i'm gonna go ahead and put this down turn on the chopper and go ahead and get started with the top what is that chris what are you talking to me you got a head on your shoulders right i've been told that yeah why would you buy that when we have two of those oh because that have you seen the size of that field yeah it's pretty large that's why we have two of them well there'll be three of them now how much of my money did you spend fifty eight thousand dollars what did you buy i bought a cultivator a spreader and that harvester i'll be back better be back with a loan too what Whoa. in the world is that chris did you just buy the biggest things they had why let me guess if your loan officer would approve it you would have bought the five hundred thousand dollar machine too i mean wouldn't you have wanted me to not really buddy not really i still wish i was able to have my other truck back because i found out i left my pocket knife in there i wish you would have told me that because i would have grabbed it before it was sold off no one can help that dummy sell your equipment when they shouldn't be allowed to brah since you're home i thought that for the day go ahead and get, get the potato harvester let's get this thing harvested all righty chris me and you after we get some of these potatoes harvested me and you need to head up to town what are we going to town for we gotta meet uh, up with somebody to rent a place to be able to do more production wise with these potatoes and make them into something called premium potatoes oh that sounds delicious all righty i'm gonna hook up this one right here for a little bit i'm gonna fill it like one time chris and then me and you gotta head to town for that cultivator won't you get that neighbor boy down the road uh i think his name is like jim or jimmy son or something like that yeah him to come over and help out okay yeah we can do that i think that might make the most sense don't you yes i do and then that way it'll be done by the time we get back exactly so that we can fire bra i mean did i say that over the radio yes you did don't worry bra we love you here actually i'm gonna go ahead and stop right by here because we gotta go get that meeting done with that investor to see if we can go ahead and rent those things that we need to rent from him all right bra make sure you have this done by the time we get back you get directions to this place yeah they say there's some new buildings or something like that up there near the dealership oh those new that new complex they've been building yeah 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 so he said the way this works is those two are his this is like okay. where we'll sell like we'll sell our products to the, these two right here but this is where we'll end up what we're renting from him we'll rent this right here this is an entire factory that specializes in potatoes and we'll be able to make certain things like lard or something like that. it's gonna be a whole lot of stuff so basically what we're gonna focus on we're gonna focus on the premium potatoes first but that means okay. we need a water tanker I think the dealership up there they've got two water tankers that they're gonna sell 
to us for about ten thousand dollars how often do we have to pay this guy we have to pay him once a year because i mean at the end of the day we are making him more money because he owns those other two shops straight out and we'll we'll be selling directly to him fair enough i like it all righty so we just paid the 10 grand for both of these and we've already filled them up with water so we'll go ahead and kind of take these over here he said go ahead and dump them into here all righty so we're unloading all the water into there now it took us a little bit of figuring it out on why it was being so picky so it's going to drain all the water into here and hopefully we'll be done here pretty soon chris all right chris you ready to go yeah just getting that other tank all situated there all right and we're going to take this one back to the farm because what we're going to do is we're going to use this one for like around the farm use and we're going to swap them back and forth where we have to come back this way to fill it with more water perfect Bro, are you done yet uh no got a little bit of ways to go 10 4 10 4 10 4 chris what you doing finishing up our hired help did not finish the field they left early so i'm finishing cultivating real quick all right well i'm gonna go ahead and pull my truck around back and i'm we need to start taking the loader and loading it up oh that's right it's like i know the best way for us to make our money back since we're renting that potato place you know that big field that we have corn in right now yes we fill it full of potatoes and we part we, we plant and harvest that i just think that it's gonna be a lot of money we, we could make i think it's a terabyte idea because we it's gonna take us year just to even harvest that field with this no bro if we did that i ain't gonna put you in that i would be a nice father to you and i would at minimum go and rent a bigger harvester so it wouldn't be that long all right cultivation is done all righty well i'm loading up the potatoes right now i'll come over and help Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we got the last little bit of potatoes right here in our bucket. I'm just going to drive it down there. Chris and Briar are currently down there filling it up. We've been working all day to get all these potatoes out of there. We ended up with almost 100,000 liters, I think they said. It's something ridiculous ridiculous chris and briar y'all on the radio how many liters we got yes sir I, yeah it was just over a hundred thousand i'm still dropping some in right now we got you know last few loads are going in but it's we're almost there well i'm on my way over there i'll see you in a second all right i got the last little bit i'm coming all right. you go all the way here with that yes that's it we're done how many liters did we hit, end up having potatoes hundred and one thousand three hundred and fifty two that's good that's good numbers boys all right let's go boys i'm what not the? getting in that truck come on uh, no way redneck ingenuity boys oh god God. Our yard is a mess, boys. We need to get another. It really yard. is. Y'all want to go to sleep real fast, and we wake up in the morning and do some sorting out stuff. Yeah. The next day. All right, boys. Looks like we may be in a little bit of debt again. Let's we are. Yeah. All right, boys. I guess I'll do the wheat harvest today, and we'll get everything I else was, done. I was thinking, since majority of this is on my property, that I should take care of harvesting it. Well, last time you were in the harvester, you were complaining a lot. You said you don't really like it. I was a little red harvester. I want to try the big green one. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll let you do it i guess i'll get planting sugar beets then okay i'm gonna go get the harvester ready all right you're cutting grass there brian i'm gonna be doing my thing i'm gonna go plant sugar beets yeah you do that all right boys the sugar beets are getting plain in the ground beautiful Alrighty. where's that brother of yours to do the cart work he, he said he works for some big accounting company and it starts like an o or something like that i don't know i didn't really ask a lot of questions what did he say <laughs> I'm gonna real fast go ahead and fill up more seed. I ran out of seed there, boys. Already? Yeah. Why'd you get the tractor again? The harvest potatoes. No, I don't. No, think no, 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 no. The question, bro, for that one is, why did you sell your uncle the uh, harvester? I don't gotta talk to you about it because that was his money. Huh? All right, boys. I just got done planting over there. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the sprayer real fast and start spraying some of our liquid fertilizer. Then that might be the best way to go, don't y'all, boys? I think so. I'm back at the shot just because i got called over here um your truck's still here my blue truck yeah oh, i'll come get it later all right don't let them sell it hey tell them i'll be over there in a minute i want a new piece of machinery um okay well i'm done spraying so i'm gonna go ahead and head on in boys for this morning and i'm gonna go get some breakfast all right i'm gonna keep on harvesting this week or by go get breakfast i mean go beg people on the side of mcdonald's for something yeah we're broke yeah exactly <laughs> Anybody home? Huh? Oh, what? Uh, Get the shotgun, boys. Happy? Get the shotgun. Is that hold on, hey, hold on. Hold on. That's it's happy. Me. That's my oh, brother. It's our cousin. Yeah, so uh, I just graduated high school, and uh, mom kind of kicked me out. No you guys way. Got room here for one more. I know how that goes. Yeah, we definitely have room for you. Right, Wait, Nate? What? Nate? What room? I was about to say, uh, we got we got room on the floor. Works for me. Uh, it's not well, all right, then. Let's get to work, boys. We got a lot to do today. Get out of here. Go make yeah, me some money. Yeah. All right, boys. We got a lot to do today. We actually need to first off go to the potato plant. They said they got some potatoes ready for us to sell. All right, boys, let's go. Get in the Ford. I call shotgun. Oh, my goodness. Hey, wow. we weren't lying when they said we got a lot of potatoes to move. So they said we just got to sell it, put them over there, and we'll get the money. I think we've already made back our 19000 We sure did, and they're still coming. 
Oh, Boys, we made thirty thousand dollars. We're not broke anymore. I know that's thirty thousand. Thirty thousand, yeah. and hopefully a lot more to come. Hopefully, maybe we'll get about sixty. Happy, you come with me. Let's go get the things prepped. Chris, I'm gonna trust you to go buy some equipment. The last bit of the equipment we need from the dealership. Okay. Can I get Can I get it right home at least? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get it right home, but we're gonna divide it. Okay. Hey, so take that bring... what you got behind you too, and go sell yep, that. Yep, yep. I'm gonna go sell this. We don't need it. All right, turn it on. Or I'll, I'll get it on side there. I'll do this one, you do the other one, okay? All right. Well, the most details is why your mom kicked you out. She said I either needed to go to college or I have to get kicked out because she wants me to have an education and I didn't want an education, so I left. Well, buddy, welcome to the farm here. I guess while we're sitting here waiting, we'll show you around a little bit. All right. So, of course, this right here is our big cornfield. If you do a little bit of a jump, you can see it's humongous. Now, of course, the land we're walking on right now, we don't own, but we're trying to buy it right now. This is our sugar beet field, and so we're, we have sugar beets planted in this field. I don't know how this happened. I bought bags of sugar beets. I don't understand how this happened. Maybe the dealer got it mixed up or something. He I had guess. to. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Lord have mercy. These guys are not going to be happy when they come back and find out about this. No, they are not. <laughs> Um, hey boys, come to the field for a second. The cornfield? No, no, not the cornfield. No, no, no. Sugar beet field. Yeah. Uh oh. Or, or should we say cotton field? What? We got sugar what? Beet. Sugar beet slash cotton. A seed dealer messed up. It must. It had to be a seed dealer. It was not me. So. That's interesting because when the dealership broke the tractor, it was my fault. Now the wrong seeds were planted, and it's the dealership or the vendor that you bought it from's fault. Exactly. That's weird. When it's Nate's fault, it's everyone else's fault. But when it's everyone else's fault, it's everyone else's fault. Boy, he learns fast. I guess as long as we all understand that. So let's uh let's go get to work, boys. Yeah. These trailers don't seem big enough for this field. Well, they're big enough for our operation. Nate, what's your max speed on there? Six. Six? Okay. I'm all right, boys. Ready. I don't know about y'all, but this is uh gonna be a long amount of work. Yep. Yeah, especially with me driving that way. We're done with the harvesting. Perfect. We're just picking up some spilled uh, goods here and putting them in the pit, and we should be ready to cover it when you get over here. Oh, yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired. I'm ready for a month off. All right, boys. Let's get everything packed up for a little bit. And four. Let's all meet up here at the house, and let's figure out what we're going to do. Give me one sec. I'm picking up the last little bit that's outside of it. Okay, you come over here. All right, boys. So, of course, I mean, I think we all were working our butts off for the last few days. So let's do a little bit easier jobs today. Boys, we're cutting it close with the loan. I mean, let's just be honest here. We've got six, maybe less months left. So we, we got to bust our butts right now and get this thing done. So I'm going to start spraying first. Brah, you need to cultivate that field over there that Chris harvested yesterday. Chris and Happy, I think it's time we take down the rest of the trees on Chris's place. You think we're going to make $5 million in six months? I think there's a chance. I don't think we can take it easy any day between now and then. No, there's, yeah. there, there's no taking it easy, boys. Like There's no taking it easy, but we can do easier jobs today. But I think that silage behind this is also worth a good amount of money. But I also will say because we messed up, well, the dealer messed up when we bought cotton seed. I think we plant the field that Chris harvested yesterday in cotton since we're going to have to pay a 10 grand for someone to come harvest it anyway. That makes sense. All right, boys. You can't. What? Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you go first. It wasn't on task. Let's stay on task. We got a lot to do tonight. Yeah, we're just done. <laughs> Four to six weeks later. Where are you taking me? You know where I'm taking you. I'm taking you to the potato plant. We got to sell potatoes. You woke me up from my nap for this? Yes. Can we stop and get me caffeine? I'm a little cranky. Why are you cranky? It's only three in the afternoon. You get one of those half naps and you don't get enough sleep in the nap and it just ends up being worse than, than help. We're officially out of potatoes. That was fast. We officially don't need it, so I'm going to go ahead and shut her off. Yeah, shut it down. We made our money's worth from it, though, definitely. So, all right, we'll go home home and see what Bri's up to. Yeah, in case you're wondering, the the S-Mart did have plenty of caffeine for me, so I'm I'm all good now. That's good to hear. Do we live with a bunch of animals? Just gonna leave my door open like that? All right, let's go. Let's go in the house and see supper. Let's try to get some sleep. Cause there ain't nothing else to do today. Cause you and uh, Happy earlier before he went out of town did some tree cutting, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all this y'all cut right here. Yep. Got it all stacked, piled up, nice for us tomorrow to just uh, see what kind of profit we can make from it. And this place looks completely different. It, it looks beautiful though. I do think we need to burn this off tomorrow. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think it's really worth selling, and it'd be nice to just have a little, you know, relaxing night. Yeah, I think we just have a little pile right here. We'll burn it. Yeah. And all the ashes, I thought that we'll scoop it and spread out in the field because that's supposed to be good for the crops. Which well, means you need to sit down and not figure out what we're planting and where we're planting it. Yeah, that's true. We do have two fields that we need to plant. 
Exactly. And then tomorrow we got to do hay work. So let's go ahead and get on back to the house. Let's go to bed for night. The next morning. I swear, if them sheep wake me up one more time, I'm killing them all. All right, buddy. So we got to go ahead and get work done. Are you joining us there? Or are you just going to go look at the equipment at the dealership all day today? Uh, I got the day off. They're doing some construction work over there, actually. Okay. Where's our John Deere tractor? My John Deere tractor? It's part of this farm. Oh, I was getting some maintenance on it. I can go pick it up if you want me to. Yeah, we'll need it for grass work today because we got to do a bunch of grass work and bailing and stuff like that. So. Okay, I'm going to go to my truck and then I'll be right back with that uh, tractor. Bro, I pull that out of here. I'm going to pull the Case IH out of here. And we'll go ahead and get to work. Why'd you come from that direction? There ain't no mechanic in that direction. I took a I took a wrong turn up back before the lake. I went around the lake instead of straight. Okay. Do we have a wind roar? No, we don't. We sold it, remember? Oh, uh, uh, more money. Let me look at Facebook Marketplace. My phone's inside here. All right, boys. I'm going to buy us a Vermeer one, okay? It's about $33,000 plus shipping. Yeah, they dropped it off. Yeah, that's some quick delivery right there, boys. It's like that same day shipping just with a minute left in the day. Exactly. Chris, come yeah. here. Yes. I got a job for you before we start selling wood, me and you. Okay. While I get some things prepared and I go sell like a load of that wood, can you go to the dealership and pick up a bail wrapper? You trust me? I trust you. I'll be back. I wanted to drive no, this. I haven't out. had a chance to yet. That's what I'm telling you, buddy. Worst case scenario, he comes back with some big machinery. Best case scenario, he comes back with a small one. I mean, last time he got something big, it was that. Yeah, but you're also the dumb one that sold it to him, okay? So we don't really need to talk about it. Let's get to work, okay? I'm going to go take one of the truck loads. All right, son, I've sold that first load of logs for eight grand. Eight grand? That ain't bad. It's going about 16 grand per load, so that ain't terrible. Chris, did you actually pick it up? Nope, it's not compatible with this tractor, so I gotta get a different one. You know what I also find interesting? What? The fact that we'll have almost $100,000 when we get down these loads of logs. That's nice. Just enough money to go buy a trailer and to send our sheep that are old enough to the slaughterhouse. Excuse me? You didn't think we were gonna keep them forever, did you? I mean, kinda. No, oh, buddy. They're, they're all gonna get a my money slaughterhouse. You wanna come look at what our new piece of equipment? What the heck is that? He said, get a bail wrapper. I got a bail wrapper. Yeah, this is the right piece of equipment. Yeah, how do you use it? I know, that's what I'm shocked about. So, bruh, go get to the wheel loader, the skid steer, and just take the bells and pick them up and put them inside of here. Golly, how many times is it gonna wrap that thing? Well, it's gotta wrap it real good. Because what it's gotta do is it's gotta make it watertight. All right, Chris, we'll go ahead and finish this up today. And I'm gonna go ahead and probably cut this right here. Are right, you gonna pick stuff up? I'll, I'll look for the rest of the stumps. Sounds good. All righty, so we just got done selling some of our shipping containers, ladies and gentlemen, which we've already got a couple shipping containers full of laws already. So let's go ahead and get on into what we gotta get left over here. Back up, back up. All right, there you go. All right, Chris, go ahead and lift it. All right, I got it. Pretty heavy. I know. That's why we're just going back it on up. All right, one down. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is how we've been doing the selling of the logs, if like that, because we didn't know about this until we started doing it. So I just want to let y'all know that this is how we've been doing it. You drive it over, look, $47,000 for that one uh, thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that is why we have so much money. We make good money off that? Uh, 47. Wow. I'm gonna let you take this next one out of town. Okay. All right, Chris, go ahead. All right. I will say the construction crew should be here later because they're gonna be building us some new barns and kind of rebuilding some stuff. But I will say this, Chris, you ain't gonna be too happy. Well, why? I think what we need to do is we need to take our current sheep that we have and sell the babies and take our actual grown adults and uh, take them to the house. I think I need to go to S Smart real quick again. No. You don't need to go to S Mark. Come on back. Okay, I'm coming back. What do y'all uh, think about putting some more trees up over there? And we start making that tree hauling into like a business. That's a perfect I... idea. And it seems to be probably one of your best bets to get out of debt. Oh, no. I think that silage was possibly the best bet to get out of debt. I mean, the combo of the two is definitely going to take care of things. Oh, definitely. I will say I found an old man that has a BGA that he wants to get rid of it. So we might invest into that because I hear you can make some kind of money with a BGA. Whatever makes money so we can get out of this debt. Exactly. Hey, bro, come here. Yeah? You want to do me a favor? What? Go up to the good dealership, and they have a can of gasoline up there. Since all of our stuff runs on diesel, we need a can of gasoline to start a bonfire tonight, okay? We have gasoline in our cousin's truck. Just go get it. 
Okay, don't argue with me, just go get it. This is pretty neat, boys. By the way, I think uh, the tape's messing up a little bit. Why? Well, I don't know, it doesn't look like it's coming out as fast as it did. I mean, it's gonna be slower. Let's be glad we got this. I got told by the old man that there would be some forester equipment down there today. Can you go down there and uh, see if you can start working so that we can get some discount? Because we need a tree planter. Which old man? Her dad. Your father-in-law? Oh, that old man. Yeah? I thought you were talking about the other old man. No, I'm talking about your father-in-law, the one that I'm getting really acquainted with. That's telling me you barely work, so won't you go to work and get me some more money? Is that who you went to dinner with the other day? Yeah, it was, actually. Oh, I was wondering where you were at. Get out of here. Get up. Yep, yep, yep. Ow, 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 ow. One of these days, we're going to get rid of that kid. Come on, Chris. Oh, man. I'm not looking forward to this. We, we got to go buy a trailer. Um, The sheep get to go to a new home. Can we just, uh, let's just talk about it like it's, um... You're just going on summer vacation. Yeah, 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 that works. You're the mechanic, right? Come here. Okay. You see this, uh, extensions right here? Yes. Can you take these extensions off of this trailer right here? Yeah. I need them taken off because when we start harvesting again, these trailers actually are low enough down to the ground our harvester can fit underneath them. That makes sense. Yes, I'll get that taken care of. What kind of a design is this? They don't want us in here anymore. Like extra security. You can't park back here. All right. Now we're coming for a trailer anyway, so we're allowed back here. No, Ooh. you're not. What is What is this? No vehicles are back here besides authoring out personnel. I got it outside. Let's go. All right. Name the price. 20000 All right. Here's a chair for twenty grand. Okay. What's he doing? I don't know. Why did you breed him? Because he's an adult sometimes. Go get the paperwork while I go talk to him. Chris! Yeah? You want to explain what you're doing here, bud? I was just counting uh, how many uh, wheels are on this thing. Let me guess. Your wallet's also getting really issue right now? No. So you ain't thinking about buying this at all? I mean, I don't know what that has to do with my wallet. I usually just, like, take out loan. I'm... What did he just say? Has he been taking out loans this entire time? Well, it's in his name. It's not none of my concern. All right, you got the paperwork? Yep, just sign here. All right, you want to talk about it, Chris? If we can go to S-Mart first. <laughs> no, we ain't going to S-Mart. Then we ain't talking about it. You know what, Chris? It's your money. You do what you want to. It's none of my business, okay? Mm-hmm. The sheepies need a place to go naughty night. Right, that's what I'm sad about. If you're going to be this sad about it, how about this? We don't sell them. We just put them in the trailer and hopefully they survive. Are you driving them there? No, we're just going to leave them here. and We're going to leave them out here in the parking lot in the trailer. I'd rather know what happens to them. All right, they're all loaded up now. All right, just making sure you don't got any babies in there. No, well, all the babies right here. Yeah, and they're going to a different farm, right? Here's the thing is, actually, there's only 10 babies here, so we might just load them into the trailer and keep the babies. But... We're going to kind of get rid of these guys. That's okay. You're in debt. You got to do what you got to do. It's part of running a farm. Does it make you better? No, we're going to go to the auction later and buy some more sheep. Yeah. This is a nice building. Yeah, it's a great building. All right, Chris. We took the sheep to the safe place. Yeah. We'll get the money for that eventually. But I think it's time we go ahead and get the construction crew here. Much, much, much later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long time since I've seen you all. We had a lot of problems. As you see, we had three hundred something thousand dollars and we used every dime on that on construction almost we have fifty-five thousand dollars left to our name and from here on out we will not use anything but from the centers of like seed fertilizer and stuff like that let me kind of run you down what we kind of got here so we kind of got a manure heap so we can ho hold our manure because we are going to officially be buying some pigs here pretty soon what? these greenhouses i talked to the guys and we all said i agreed that this was a financially smart decision we went to the market and bought some younger sheep than what we had we officially have a brand new storage lot on top of the brand new storage lot we also do have this little part right here where we can park like cars go karts and put some hay bales and stuff like that back here as well and i think any moment here my cousin's supposed to be coming with a tree planter by the way now this is actually getting ready to go sell we're going to be doing this closer to the end because we were looking at prices and prices are just not where we want them to be to sell it yet this is technically all silage but we just don't need it right now because it's not at the right price but we do got a lot of feeding to go ahead and do so i'm gonna go ahead and find the skits here if i can ever find it and start feeding. Oh my goodness. This looks so nice. Is that you? Yeah, I'm back. Good to see you back. How was your vacation? It was great. This place looks amazing. I'm glad I got to see it like this instead of the slow change. This is impressive. Ain't that the truth? Oh, <gasps> they're back. Yes. You actually have 40 baby sheep in here. So when they're first born, they go directly into this pen. Okay. So we raise them out in this pen. They get mature adults in this pen. And after they become adults, they go in this pen. After a lot of processing, the older ones go to the house. Well, what do you need me to do? Should I uh, get these greenhouses prepped, maybe? Well, about to say, we got to go ahead and start getting water in all these greenhouses. Okay. 
Well, here soon the seed dealer is supposed to be dropping off some new trees. He said about two, three pallets worth of seeds is what he's going to be bringing. And each pallet is about 20 trees. Oh, sweet. So we get to replace a good amount of those trees that we cut down. Yep. In about seven years, do it again. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm going to pick out one of these tractors to fill the water up with and rinse and repeat. And I'll get all that done. All right, bud. All righty. So I just got the first load of pallets of trees. And we're going to be putting down some pine trees down. And it is already loaded up, ready to go. Chris, you on the radio? I am. You want to come over here and kind of spot me? Yeah, you working on the trees? Yep, we're about to plant some first trees. All right, let me just finish this one greenhouse, and I will head over there so I don't lose track where I am. Oh, nice. Yep, yep, that works. It's supposed to evenly oh. space them. Oh, man, I can't wait for these to grow up. It's going to be so sweet over here. So 20 right. trees equal to one row. How many did we buy? 60. All right, Chris, I got it loaded, I got it loaded again. Okay, I was just looking at one of these little guys. They're so cute. So yeah. we have all the trees we have planted, but we need, we definitely need like four more pilots. So let's go ahead and knock out your project, buddy. Yep. And me and you need to decide on some couple things real fast. All right, bro. Yep, you're in trouble. So we're just going to plant bell peppers in each and every one of them, buddy. They're good this time of year? Well, they're good year-round. For about 10,000 liters of this, we can usually get about $3,000. Why would you turn this back in here? Um, I thought this would be a good spot to park it. It was right over here. Okay, yeah, park it. I think I have a great idea. Once I pay out this long, I think I should go back into debt. What do you think? Uh, I think that's a terrible... What? what why? I think that'd be a great idea. Why would you want to go back in debt? Well, I mean, we could open up a big one. We can open up an entire factory of these. Water and sea buddy water and seeds that's all we gotta do so we need to talk about what our next decision is going to lie about oh no i was dreading this the big field the big field oh no so we need to plant soybeans in this no matter what okay so we would put soybeans here and yeah. then we have sugar beets in those two fields and then potatoes in the other one i think that's a good plan i think we need to spray before we plant i've seen us do it where the weeds are a little smaller but this is a little out of hand this is a pretty weed you sure you want to get rid of these? We we could trim these up and sell them at like the prom. Like they could, you know, stuff like that. I tried doing that. Happy didn't like that idea. So let's go get the potato stuff hooked up. Let's get all that going. And here's the best part about this, bud. Yeah? You uh, see all this right here? Once we get done with stuff, we can start throwing equipment in here. Yes. We can get organized as we work. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling everything out. Hey, cousin. Yeah. How do you, how do you like this setup right here? I mean, it seems uh, like it's a uh, match made in heaven. That's what I'm saying. How's it running? Perfect. At four miles an hour. Well, you know, slow and steady. Yeah, slow and steady, all right. Wakey, wakey. Get the oh. shotgun. Uh-oh. Did you uh, see the night with your wife? Yeah, remember I went out of town for the honeymoon. It sucked because he was along with us. Why would you take your uncle? It wasn't by choice. Why would she want to take your uncle? She said it's a family body thing. There may have been more to family bonding going on. That's all I can say. Let's get out of here, boys. What did he say? Um, I guess we need to get to work, boys. There's a lot to do today. What did we all miss? Well, remember the reason everybody was able to take some time off is because we did renovations. All right, so I'll say I kind of explain. We're getting, we got two new barns. We got the big storage new barn. And then we also got this barn right here for our special tractors. This is where stuff gets tricky. Me and Chris decided that we wanted to upgrade the sheep pens to two new sheep pens. This is our baby sheep pen and this is of course the adult sheep pen where all the adults will be the rest of this is just greenhouses and stuff like that and then that's gonna be a pig pen all right but yeah that's pretty much everything we did now uh boys time to get to work yeah what are we doing today you have the list oh yeah i do have the list we need to fertilize and weed the potato field that we planted while you were gone wait a minute brad do you know what field we planted with potatoes last time i remember we were talking about the big field Yep, yeah, it's the big foot. I was making, I was making sure because I was expecting more of a crying out of you. I guess I'll jump on the sprayer. Chris, you and Bronny go to the dealership. Bronny's got to go to work, and then you actually got to go pick up a piece of equipment for me. Just one? I only ordered one. Yeah. Okay. Blake, come in. We need to hook up the tractor. All right. Uh, you see that sprayer back there? Go ahead and start prepping the hoses, and I'll be right back with the actual tractor. Okay. All right. Everything ready? Everything's ready to go. Just back it up. Do me a favor. Get inside of the skid steer and get me up two pots of liquid fertilizer out, please. Okay. I will do that thank you sir all right grab another one of those put it to the side and then grab a pallet of, of herbicide man we made a beaten path over here at this point chris you on cb yes sir all right good to hear that's all you wanted to know yeah, yeah you might need you might need to call bra personally real fast talk to him okay let me pull over i don't want to pick it for pulling my cell phone out and talking 
Hello? Hey, your dad said I need to call you? Yeah, apparently that truck we sold was a rental. A what now? <laughs> it was a rental. Um, so, you need me to come back? Yes. Okay, on my way. We need to look in and get another spraying tractor. Hmm, interesting. Why do you say that like that? Well, we could probably, uh, just wait till I get there. If my son sold you something that he shouldn't have, just tell me now, and I won't kill him later. Mmm, yes. Don't kill him later. Not gonna kill him later. Just disappointing you, bud. Nate, where are you? Spraying in the field. Which one? Potato. Alright, I'm heading that way. Well, I'm heading back that way, so give me a minute. What do you think? Hey, where are you going? I give up with you. Hold on, you didn't even hear my story. I don't need to hear your story. Okay, so I borrowed this tractor to bring the topper back, but you said we need one for... No, 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 what is that? That's not supposed to be here. I brought... No, bro, come back here. No, I'm opening the door. Get out. Whose is that? Uh, I brought it down for a little preview for the farm. No, 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 I know better than that. Whose is it? Our uncles. I bet I know exactly what's going on here. Where's he going? Come back here. I don't know. His silage pit is full? And where did that bar? come from chris where you at buddy i'm right here i'm right here what's the matter what's going on there's a shed back here with a cultivator in it what you need to call the cops right now somebody has been trespassing on our property and has equipment here son come here i see you back there come here oh no is this chris's no okay y'all want to both lie to me i know for a fact this is yours what why how because i know you don't you think i would have gotten something bigger and hit it better no because you ain't that smart Buddy, this is about as hidden as you can get. And let me guess, you reused your old wood from your old house? Maybe. Tear the shed down, and let's make this arable land, and let's get all the equipment where it needs to be. What are you going to do if I don't? I'm going to barge you from my land. How about we uh, stop you using all my equipment that I uh, paid for and all the equipment that's on my land? All right, well, I'll take the yellow, big yellow tractor. I'll take the John Deere. That's on my land. You owe me $35 an hour if it's on my land. Oh, I owe you for you taking my equipment? Now, what, you know, what do you think the cops would say if, you know, I have the titles? You have the titles, but it's on my land. You owe me. Because you stole it. How'd I steal it? Why is it on your land if, I, if it's mine? Why are we sitting here arguing? We run this together. We are not children. Reminds me of our childhood when we fought. I'll move the stuff. Tear this down. Let's not hide no more secrets, okay, Chris? No more secrets. Blake, you got my fertilizer over there? Yep, they're all uh, put away. Oh, look. There's herbicide behind it. There's two containers of herbicide behind it there, buddy. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I got a call from Junkyard saying that they wanted me to come out and check out something. I'll let you know uh, what it is when I get there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going with you. Blake, take over for me. We're going to go ahead and take a load with us while we're going because wheat's apparently at a good price, what I got told. Oh, really? Okay. Actually, bro, go ahead and hook up to the other one. We're going to need it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, bro, we're taking this to the new place it's called the Sell Everything Lot. All right. This must be the new place. Yeah. There's the house over there. Hey, Chris, you on the radio? Yes. Since you've been lying all this time, you also going to tell me you've been taking all your mechanic work to the workshop up here? There's a workshop. Uh -huh. okay. Got my eye on you. Oh, hello, beauty. It starts. Oh, this must have been what the guy was calling you about. It has a pretty good logo on the side of that. Yeah, make sure to go to right. subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Guy said he's in here, so I guess let's go talk to him. Hey, you go talk to him for a second. I'm looking around. I want to see if there's any of these cars I can flip. Want the good news or bad news? I want the good news. Good news is it's only 25000 Okay, perfect. Bad news. has a lot of hours on it. Uh, Chris can fix it. I think, yeah, we buy it. All right, bro. Go give him the money. Glad he used his forklift to lift that up there. My truck is going to be broken. Well, not my truck. Get your boss to fix it. It is a work truck. Drives like a dream, too. Oh, the GMC is great. Oh, 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 oh. I just lost power for a second. I yeah, no. There's, uh, there's issues. What in the world is this? Told you to tear it down. Don't build it in my lot. Thought, thought that's what oh. you wanted. You wanted me to bring all the equipment over, so I brought it all over. Why is that there? I don't know, but I'm tearing it up with this. Whew, I'm glad we got all that cleaned up. $7,500 for that shed? Not too bad. But... What is that graffiti right there? I think that, that's beautiful right there. Why would you put that on a Dakota trailer? Hey, if you can't stand the truck, at least do me a favor. Fix her. There's probably about $10,000 worth of stuff to fix on her. Oh, okay. What'd y'all get done while I was gone? I got both the fields spreaded with the fertilizer, and I was going to start loading this up so that we can use it to plant the beans. All right, Chris, we're ready. 
Hey, you know all that uh, solid fertilizer you spread on the field? Yep. I just think it would have been a great idea to have it in here, too. If I already did it, I can't double up. It's just going to be a waste of material. All right, bro. I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to let you continue doing this. All righty. Go ahead and stop for you. There you go. Thank you. What are you doing here? I just got back from vacation. You know what? I got the perfect job for you. Come on. Come on. Okay. I got the perfect job for you, buddy. You're helping planting trees. Sounds good. All right, everything ready back there? Yep, looks good. All right, let's go. All right, boys, we're starting to plant more trees. Hey, nature. Uh, Happy, since this is more of an automatic feature, do you want to go back there and go grab another pallet real fast so I don't have to drive back and forth? Sure. Boys, it's starting to look good out here. Uh, I can't wait to go over there and see. It's going to be a dense forest, I'll tell you that when we're done. H Happy, how many more pallets of trees have we got? Uh, I don't think we have any more. Oh, there's one more. We need a minimum, at least one more. I really didn't want to have to call the sea guy to order one more pallet. All right, Chris. I was going to tell you about this is do you want to put like four strips of like law trees going all the way down the side of your property? Yes, I do. So we'll put one here, one here, one here, and one here, and then we'll come down every so many years. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'll be nice for a little bit of privacy, too, because every time I drive around, it seems like there's more and more people moving here, and I'm a little worried about the future. Woo! I don't know about y'all, boys, but it's been a long day of working. Super yep. long. I'm going to go light the fire. I'll see y'all later. Oh, I can't wait. Boys, it's getting warm and toasty. I don't know about y'all. Why haven't yeah, we done this sooner? I don't know. It is getting, it's roaring out there. It's been a heck of a time, boys, and we got plenty more left to do ain't gonna lie to y'all boys it's gonna be close if we make it all right boys i'm gonna go to bed y'all watch the fire for a little bit i'm gonna go call my wife and go to sleep y'all have a good one all right have a good night Wakey, wakey. Oh, don't tell me it's raining. Yeah, yep. get your rain jacket on. Yeah, get your oh. rain jacket. Come on. We got stuff to do. Hurry up. Oh. There he is. Came out with the bright jacket. Yeah, you gotta be high C. Definitely are. All right, so what do we start uh, doing first? Because we got silage. We got the fields. Well, there's rain, so field work is out of the question for right now. Touching the silage is out of question for right now. I bet our best bet right now would be go sell the tomatoes and hopefully come back after a little bit once the rain stops. What do you think? All right, that sounds yeah. good. I got them all loaded up, so. Oh, did you? Yep. Okay, I didn't know me loading them last night was you loading them up, but okay, that's a new one. You fell asleep for all of us. Yeah, uh huh. I hear you. All right, who's riding with me? Uh, Chris, do you want to? How many fit in here? Oh, Can we're we get all five? No. <laughs> Buy it. No. no. <laughs> happy, get in the, the bed. Uh, hold on back there, Happy. I'm holding on. Uh, just remember, if you hurt any of those tomatoes, you're uh, the next one out. You should sample one, Happy. Don't you touch my tomato. I will roll this sucker. <laughs> oh, I mean, I know you're going to wreck anyway, so. Hey, Happy, uh, I actually value my life, so shush back there. I think they're going to give them back to us. Yeah, I don't think he's worth a whole lot. They'll probably sell them back to us. We're going to get a decent amount for these potatoes. For, these <laughs> for real? Man, they gave us a pretty penny for that. Oh, yes, they did. All right, let's take the ride back. Two of us need to work on the sugar beet, and the rest of us need to honestly be working working on silage. I, th I think me and Chris need to do sugar beets and y'all do silage. Okay. Works for me. I think we're going to need another truck for that much. For the silage? Yeah, we're going to have to lease another, we're going to have to lease two, two semi-trailers and a semi-truck. I guess I'll take the semi and run up and get one trailer. Someone can ride with me and uh, get another semi and trailer if they want to. Yep, yeah. I'll ride with you. After we get changed because golly, it's starting to get hot. Alright, yeah, let's go get changed and then yeah, I'll do that. Happy, here's the card. Rent a semi truck and a trailer. Do not spend over 20 grand on that semi truck and trailer. Got it. All right, you go have that, Chris. We get to go have fun. Yep, which tractors are we using? Uh, I think the John Deere 4955 would be a good one. That would. I think the case H the is just the other good one. Okay. We have five tractors, buddy. Well, you know, two of them are mine. Technically two and a half, but we don't talk about it. I wonder if I should spray the beans. Uh, yeah, go ahead and spray the ween the beans for weed. Okay, for weeds. Okay. And let me let me get caught up on this. Yeah, I'll get. I'll just set that there for now. It won't be in the way, and I'll get the sprayer. Hey, Chris, you know we've already put 14 hours on this tractor. On the case, IH? Yeah. Wow. That's actually we that seems. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we already got five and a half on this one. We've been putting hours on these tractors. No kidding. You have to, or someone has to be with me because this doesn't hold much. Oh, goody. So once you're done, I guess you get a trailer and drive next to me. Yeah, once I finish, we're not putting that boy on a spray, and I tell you that much. What I'll do is I'll just grab another tractor, and I'll put that one of them boys onto, onto this on the other field. 
That'd be the smartest decision. Well, it's a good thing that we're able to back on up here. Hopefully Chris is able to get one of them boys into that. Because it looks like we got a full team of three over there. And one's not doing anything. So we can keep one of them busy. Keeping them out of trouble from messing up one of the tractors. Let's unload this right here. Yeah, all the sugar. I will say, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know if we're directly selling this or not yet. As far as we've gotten is, we know that we're not going to make it into sugar. You coming, Chris? I don't know if this is the right tractor to pull both of these. I might have to switch out. It's struggling a little bit on turns because of the, how wide the wheels are. We really don't have the perfect tractor for that. We got a lot of tractors, but not the right tractor. You think after all that track, all those tractors you bought, you would have bought the right one? You would think so. Y'all want to explain the conveyor belt? Yeah, a buddy I of mine it. had conveyor belts, so I. Oh, uh... uh, okay. And why is Chris's wallet missing, Happy? I don't have his wallet. I don't know anything about that. Uh... Why would I take my brother's wallet? I don't know. That's just mighty suspicious. Well, y'all keep working. We will. That's all we ever do. Or let, let me change that. Happy, you keep working. And Blake, you quit looking and you keep looking like an idiot. All right, boys. I'm going by the real man's work. Y'all continue doing y'all's thing. You have fun with that. Them boys don't lie to me. They said they paid for them over there. Out of their own pocket? Yeah. How much was it? They said it was only two grand. I'm sorry, if those are only two grand, I'm in the wrong business. Chris, you want to take a turn? Yeah, see if you can figure out the handling on this trailer for me. The fake mechanic couldn't figure out the handling. Hmm. I don't know what that has it, to do with me and a mechanic. I'm happy you brought that up. Chris, I think we got a question for you. Okay. You're not really a mechanic, are you? What makes you say that? What have you honestly fixed on this farm that hasn't broken five minutes later? The tractor's tire? Is that as far as you made it in diesel mechanic school? Was changing the tire? Funny you mention it. It wasn't even diesel mechanic school. Wait, hold up. You didn't even go to diesel mechanic school? No, I worked at Big O Tires. But you told me you were a mechanic. I never said that. I just didn't uh, say I wasn't when you asked if I was. So you lied to us about being a mechanic? I mean, I withheld the truth. So, wait a minute, why did you get so hurt whenever we said you didn't fix the tractors then? I didn't get hurt because you said I didn't fix the tractors. I got hurt because you said I broke the tractors. What's the difference? Because times I did break the tractors, you didn't say I broke them. The times I didn't break them, you said I broke them. Can we just agree that you broke tractors? That's all, that's all, it needs, that's all we need to agree about. Oh, I you absolutely forgot to put the, the oil plug in the, in the harvester. That's the only thing I'll own up to. But I'm getting the hang of this farming thing. You better. All right, Chris, I'm going to go ahead and take this load, okay? Okay, good luck. Yep, you too. If you crash less than 10 times, you beat me. I don't know. He has pretty bad driving, so. Yaddy, yaddy, I hear you over there. <laughs> All right, Chris, everything looking good? Yep, just starting to cultivate it up so we can plant something else. All right, looking good, looking good, buddy. Whoo, we're at a half a million dollars. Yes, we are. That's uh, 10 or 10% 10 to your goal? Yep, all right, I'm going to the bar. I'll see y'all later. Okay, okay uh, funny. Get back here. We still got work to do. Like what? Uh, Like everything. We still Tail got $5 field? million dollars to make up. Yeah, uh, them boys over there are going to make up the silage. We're fine. I'm going to the bar. There's something you need to tell us? Nope. Not at all. None mm. of your business. Something's going on. Keeping secrets from family. I see how it is. Just because your family don't need, don't mean you need to know anything about my personal life. Oh, well, we're here for you. I know. Go empty that truck over there, soybean. Okay. And I'm gonna hook up my truck to the trailer. We gotta take off these load, this load. But Chris, I'm on, I'm jumping on the skid steer right now, and I'm gonna start loading up the bales. Oh, that's a great idea. I forgot we had even more money to make. Hey Blake, what's up? Come here. So this looks like Happy can take over from here. Y'all ain't got a whole lot left. Happy can run the rest of this. We need you to jump on the mower and go ahead and knock out the mower, and then he's done because we need hay for the sheep. Yeah, I can do that. Chris, I'm gonna go sell the salad. Oh, oh, extra money. Yep, the bales. I'm gonna go sell the bales. We got about 87,000 liters. Oh, nice. Look at there, son. I made it all the way here and didn't crash. Impressive. Your driving's getting better. 53,000. Beautiful. Hey, boys, don't forget to return everything. I know. Right. I'm returning them all now. Happy Blake. I need to talk to both y'all. Come over here real fast to me. Okay. Chris, come over here too. Okay. Ooh, you're in trouble. trouble. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so um, y'all knocked out this silage pit, that silage pit, and we got the bales set. Did y'all knock out the third silage pit? I Where's that at? The other side of the field. Uh, I didn't know there was one over there. Okay. Go knock that one out too. I'm going to keep mowing. You can go do that. No, no. no I'm taking the mowing job. Yep. All right, I you swear one. you have super you speed on. Go. <laughs> you have super speed on. <laughs> have fun, Happy. Hold up. How big of a pass did you just do, buddy? We don't own some of that land you've been cut. I <laughs> like mowing. I don't know what we own and don't own. I don't care. 
But we could be looking at fine. Don't care. I know you don't care. Good lord. I'm glad I kicked you out of this thing. I'm gonna do an easy job for the rest of the day, I think, boys. We've done enough for a little bit. I think I'm gonna do some spraying for a little bit. Ooh, the potatoes? Okay. Yep. Ooh, that needs to be done. That's our big cash right there. Yes, it is. All right, Chris. These sheep are growing up my and us. They are. I'm going to come go in here and take a closer look. They're so cute at this age. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. Did you Aww. name them yet? Did I name them? No, I learned from last time. I'm not doing that again. Actually, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to get too attached. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Go grab the shotgun. I don't know who this is. Already um, on it. Um, you get the money for me? I don't have all of it yet, no. Why not? Why not? Because we're still working on it. Well, you better work faster then. Uh, we're going to get it to you. You better. How's your leg feeling, Bri? Yeah, Bri, uh, sorry about that. Uh, hope you're doing better. Why don't, you, why don't you step away from my son and tell him what you came here for? I came here to get the money. You ain't getting all of it. We don't got all of it. So what do you want? Well, I'll take what you got. I got 700000 that you can have right now. Okay. Bri, go get the checkbook. I think Bri's gone. You just tra traumatized him by coming back. All right, I did my job. Here you go, Nate. Here's your checkbook. All right. You guys have a nice day. It's all paid off, right? No, no, not even close. Oh, that was a yes. Okay, awesome. It's all paid off. Yeah, you, you guys are funny. Now, which one of you guys am I running over this time? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got that on recording. Uh, hey, tell the judge I said, hey. All righty. So I just got all this stuff unloaded here, ladies and gentlemen. And we just unloaded all the bell peppers into this right here. We're getting ready to start making some stuff. Because today, ladies and gentlemen, we're in March. We've got a few months left. We're almost out of time to make all of our money that we need to make. And. And we're putting the bell peppers in here because we're about to start making our, I think they're like chips or crisps or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what they are, but we're about to start making those for the farm and hopefully sell those for pretty good profit because they're worth a really lot of money. Because ladies and gentlemen, it's potato harvesting day. We got to do potato harvesting and we got to do a whole lot of other stuff today. The boys are currently right now getting stuff prepared. They've already started bailing up everything and I'm going to pull up now and kind of see what everybody is doing and if everybody's ready to roll. Y'all ready to get to work, boys? Yep. All right, where's Chris at? He's on his thinking rock. Well, oh, Chris, you might want to go over here. It's time to start harvesting potatoes. Let's go ahead and get everything rolling. I'm going to take the case IH, and uh, I think one of us earlier was already knocking out a couple of the foliage already. Chris, aren't you ready to knock this out? Absolutely. Been waiting for this since we planted it. Oh, yeah. One row at a time. So, Chris, do you think I'm going to make it? I, I don't know if this, if I'm going to make it in this tractor. Come on. Chug a look. Chug a look. Chug a look. Come on. Yep. I think we got it. Boy, this is going to take us a long time to do, don't y'all yeah, think? It might be June when we're done. You think we'll get done in June? I think it'll be October by the time we get on this. But we'll say this does look nice to see these two trashes back in the field. It's been a little bit since we had these in it the sure field. sure has. Hope you didn't have no dates you had to go on anytime soon, boys. If you did, you gotta cancel them now. Wake up! Huh? 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 Wake huh? up! Don't leave me. Huh? What? You're on the wrong side. You're asleep over there. If you're tired, have a happy uh, ultimate with you. And what was that about Don't Leave You? Uh, it, it, it's a new, it's a song I heard. Don't ever give me up. Don't ever leave me. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going back to work. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I don't remember that lyric in that song. All right, boys, I'm getting tired of doing this very quickly. That was your fault when you planted this big field. Actually, you know what? I got I got, I got, got something I need to do real fast. Uh, hey, Captain, won't you jump inside this harvester for me? I need to run the town for a little bit. Sorry, what? I'm busy. Get off that only no, farms. Too bad. Give me the phone. Yeah, you go in there. Hey, bro, I'm going to take you up there, but you need to get a different truck. All right, let me detach this. Boys, I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired. So am I. Very. Uh, so here's the next question. We're replanting this with potatoes, right? No, no. never again. You can't say that. I know we're going to plant this again with potatoes. We will let you plant and harvest it all by yourself. Agreed. Nah. I think that's four votes to one. I mean, you got to tell us how much money we're going to make, boys. Hopefully more than you made off that silage. That silage did not bring in as much as we thought it did. No, it did not. Hopefully that dumb banker guy doesn't come back and take our money. I said jerk. Boys, last little strip is coming to an end. I'm putting these potato harvesters up. We are over. Mm. I'll take this final load there. Go ahead, hey, just dump it in the back where we've been dumping everything else. Yeah, will do. Hey, boys, since we got all that done in time, I'm going to take everybody out to dinner or not, okay? Sweet. Where are we going? I'm going to feed the animals real fast with the skid steer, and after that, everybody go and uh, change up, get in your nice clothes. We got to go celebrate. Okay. All right, boys, I found out we have eight rams. We have eight baby rams and eight uh, fem uh, seven females. Nice. We got to get rid of them rams. We'll raise them up a little bit and sell them later. All right, everybody ready to roll? Yep. Looking all dapper, happy, looking all dapper. 
But before we go, I want to talk to everybody. All right. Boys, we're not only celebrating getting the potato harvest done, we're also celebrating my divorce. Huh? Celebrating? Yeah. It didn't sound like you were happy at all about this for a while. Well, you gotta come to terms with it. All that woman want was money, and she got her just result. Does she get half the debt? No, she got something better. That's all I can say. All right, boys, we're celebrating it. We're gonna have fun. Let's go. Let's go have fun. Okay. We got work to do tomorrow. All right. Chris, are you surprised? No. I had a feeling you were hiding something from us. You've been a little off lately, yeah. so I figured there was something going on. Yeah. Well, she decided she wanted a divorce, man. So. Well, you've been through it before. And I'll be through it again. Ain't that the truth? All right, boys. Let's go wait. Let's get ready for work tomorrow. All right. The next day. Chris, uh, let's go look at our trees that we've grown. Oh man, they look good. They're tall. They are. They're on steroids. I think they need a little bit longer, but they're almost at the point, boys, where we need to start considering cutting. So we do know for the future of the spruces, we need to plant those instead of the pines because the spruce are thick. <laughs> yeah, boy. We got a lot to do. We got divide and conquer. We got plant to do today, and we got harvest to do today. I want plant. Well, then you take the sprayer. You start spraying. You take the cultivator and start cultivating. Okay. Chance in the middle, boys. One, two, three. Hey. Team. Hey. Right, let's go. Hey. Boys, these beans ain't producing pretty good. They're not yielding good? No. I mean, I've almost done half the lap and only at 15%. Did you spray uh, fertilizer on them? They're fully fertilized. They're mine. They're not. They're not fully fertilized. I just looked at our, our yield data. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. What'd you do now? The header just came off the combine. Oh my gosh. Did you accidentally detach it? No, it, it hit a rock and it came off. It just fell and then the tractor sped up, couldn't stop it there for a second. It slid on the ground a good couple yards. Chris, come over here. We, we need you for a second. You want a fake mechanic to help? Yeah, a fake mechanic. We need yeah. that right now. I think we need to pick up the header and move it off the field. Yeah, it's going to take all three of us to do that. Let me see if I can lower down that thing and reattach. I As you see, she's not wanting to pick it up. Our best bet would be just to kind of push it off to the side. Yep, you can see where it broke off the feed. Yeah, it just snapped right off. What are we going to do, boys? Uh, uh, do, we have another, do we have another harvester or did we get rid of that other harvest? Oh, we got rid of it. <laughs> think we rent something. What do y'all think? Uh, that seems like the only choice we have. I don't think we want to buy something. We don't really have the funds for that. Briar, or Chris, do y'all want to try to see if y'all can call somebody to come take a look at the header and see if we can get the header and the housing fixed eventually? Let me call my father-in-law. Get him down here. Let me call a rental service. Boys, I just ran the harvest for five grand. I'm on my way back right now. Chris, you might be more into this one. Oh, why? It's a yellow one. Oh. Oh, yeah, Chris. This thing's doing amazing out here. It looks sexy. Hey, Chris, you gonna want to turn in this? Maybe. Uh, my father-in-law told me just bring the header to him and he'll fix it. I'll be back. All right, you be back soon. Don't be talking to your wife for too long. No promises. One eternity later. Bro, I'm almost done. How much you got in there? I've done one load and I'm about to finish out the rest of the field. I'm going to end up with about 75%. Dang, that harvester came in handy. Oh, it knocked this out actually really quickly. Bro, do you want to take it back for me? Yeah. This one belongs to Leroy. Oh, great. I remember him. All right, you're good. All right, Chris, I'm unloading the beans right now. What, what is the product that we're making now? It'd be vegetable fat. All right, Chris, I'm on my way back right now. All right, I'll be here waiting. We got to do the sheep shuffle. Oh, that's right. All right, come oh, on. Come it. on, girl. Yep. All right, they're looking good, yep. boys. Everything look good, Chris? Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and take the first load. I think we're going to take about two loads. Don't worry, cousin Chris. You'll get used to this. Hey, bro, while we're gone, do me a favor. Move all the wool. Okay. Got us all registered, so we should be able to uh, get that opened up now. And Oh, they've already unloaded up. Oh, good. I'm glad I missed that. Let's uh, go ahead and head back and go get the next load. Next load? We're not keeping all of them. We got to get rid of a good amount of them. So we get we taking the older rams and keeping the younger ones? Yep. All right, bro. Go ahead and close the gates, yeah. better. All right. I'm surprised. You didn't complain about me loading up Elabelle. You did what now? Uh, nothing. 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 I thought you saw that. Go ahead and go register these while I work with the man. I'll let them know. You can turn your back now. We've unloaded oh, I wasn't, I didn't have my back turned. I was just checking out these clouds up here. They're pretty cool shapes. We need to look into putting another pin. You know that, right? I'm just not sure where. I've been thinking about that, and it's we got to rearrange some things possibly. Looking good, huh, Chris? It was a little easier than I thought it was gonna be. Got all of the adults over here. Got our little babies over there. And we'll keep swapping them out over the years. Make some money. Oh yeah, we're making plenty of money. I think we just get rid of the combine at this point. It ran good for a little bit, but I think it's time we get rid of her and we trade up. We're gonna go buy stuff. We're gonna go buy stuff. All right, I'm in. Let's start. We're here, buddy. Yep. I need to look at the new harvester you got for me. Uh, it's right over there in that corner. Not too many hours. It's only got let's see, 800 hours on it. The backstory on this: the old man actually had it at 
at his old farm and he's bringing over new stuff and he's like oh i don't need this no more so he brought it down here and sold it to us chris we can see into the tank oh you totally can that's beautiful all right how much are you wanting uh twenty thousand. hey son here, here's the bill uh, are you sure if i take this in there i'm positive go take that money in there i've got my new tractor all right, Chris, do me a favor. Don't buy anything if you could. All right, I'll bring your truck back. All right, so we just made it back to the farm, and I guess there's no other better place to start than we just kind of park the harvester for a little bit. I think mowing might be the best bet for a little bit. Do a little mowing, relax a little bit. Nobody's on the farm right now except me. We're just going to kind of unfold the mower, turn it on, and just mow. There's grass right here. I will definitely say this grass is definitely growing up really, really tall. What is that? Chris, you on the radio? Yep. What'd you do? I couldn't resist. It was so so cute. Bri, get your butt back here. Start it. I see you walking away. You ain't getting out of this one. Uh. Bri, I swear if you did what I think you did. You recognize the tractor? Yep. Y you want to explain why this is back on my farm? That's that one. Come here. Why is this back on my farm? Because it's cute. It was supposed to stay gone. I don't think so. Did you just go to the dealership and say, what can I buy that's stupid? It's not stupid. Where are you going, Bri? Nowhere. How much commission you get for that? The only difference when wherever we got rid of it to now, it had a new motor in it and he's lying right here yep okay motor serial number mm, still matches how the heck do you remember the serial number after two years buddy look at the frame and look at the serial number on the motor if them mugs match it's the same motor no how many times have you done this to me? You and your father-in-law having good laughs when I leave, huh? I mean, I got to teach you a lesson. Dad told me to, so. What? I ain't tell him nothing. I ain't tell him nothing. Don't you listen to him. He's running. Hey, get him. I'm going to catch him in this. Way to go. He went down the road. I'm going to get him. Did he take my truck? The next day. Uh, wakey, wakey. Oh. We have to get up now. Can we go back to bed at least for another 30 minutes? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Why not? What the heck? That's not the truck I sold you. It is the truck I, you sold me. I spent this? a ton of money upgrading it. Got a new engine put in it. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it look good with my sweater? Hold on. Hold on. I need to look in the mirror and make sure I have the right clothes on. Oh, yeah. We got some work to do. Who wants to ride with me? Let them go start working, and then we'll get donuts first. That sounds like a great idea. I think they they should be selling donuts at the shop. <laughs> that turned out. You sure you want to get donuts still? Yeah. Um, we're just going to be going this way. <laughs> yeah. um, no, no, not that. that. If he doesn't nope. want uh, that $5 million debt gone, I mean, like, hey, I guess we can take it. All right, boys. We need to go back over here, I guess. Why didn't you tell me to call in sick today? Because I'm tired of you calling in sick. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna leave y'all to, to that, this. That, and I'm that, gonna that, go. That, no, get out of the truck. Anywhere. Give me the keys. <laughs> give me the keys. Nope, nope. I, I'm turning off the truck. I'm turning off you, the truck. You leave. We leave. Give me the. Nope. Give, I got the keys. You know what? I won't. Hey, what do you, how do you think we should tackle this? What are, you, what are you thinking? Pick it up. Throw it to the side. Hold up. Is our wheel loader still here? I don't think you're picking up the pallets with that. You're right. I'm not. Uh, I'm you're damaging them. Do, you're gonna destroy them. I won't do that. Is it strong enough? Come on. You can do it. This is not strong enough. Seven hours of manual labor later. Whew. Boys, I'm tired. That's, um, I'm sore. Yeah, can we yeah. take the rest of the day off? Y'all want the good news or the bad news? Give us the good news first. Oh, good news. We made a lot of money on that. Total balance is now 3.8 million. That, that's good. That's good. Bad news is, it's still not enough for the day. Nate, why are you? It's not bad. We're close. I give up. I tried. I tried. I tried. You know what? My ex-wife was right. All right hold I'm on. No, no. Do you don't walk away. No. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. We got a ton of equipment over there, and we were talking about having too much, so we can sell a bunch of that equipment to make up the difference, because we're only like half a million short right now. You, then we got enough. Oh, we got that sorghum. We got some wool over there. We could sell all the sheep if we had to. We we could figure it out. Right. Which we got to try. You can't just quit. Yeah, we'll give it a try. And if nothing else, we'll sell your land. All right, let's go. Uh, hey, hey, Nate. What? When's the cutoff date for uh getting this land seized from us if we don't pay him uh let's see seven o'clock tonight eight hours to come up with five hundred thousand dollars yeah all right who's the uh, cutest of us what like i'm gonna need you to go on the corner and start working what do you mean by that yep yep you need to go on the corner and start working sell them girls got good yep. buddy hold up a sign Just go sell the girls we'll, yep. we'll work for food or something what is wrong with me we're all downsizing it's done it's over yep, yeah i'm gonna go sell my truck i'm at the point i don't care let it go let it go bud nope <laughs> let it go of the truck nope. it's okay it's okay let it, it it's okay let it go
though. He, he became the Hulk. Before we leave, if I'm gonna take this and sell it, we're gonna load up a couple things to go with us. And th this one ain't being sold. What do you mean? This one was given to as a gift. I didn't pay nothing for this one, so I ain't selling it. So a lot of profit then if we sell it. You know, also be lots of profit. That red GMC right there. Nah, it's paid off. We're good. It's mine. We're gonna unfold these ramps. Hey, Dad, come here. Why don't we get rid of our cousin's uh, truck that he just got fixed? Nah, you're thinking. But well, we got more important stuff to get first. Find our cousins, John Deere, forty-seven fifty-five or forty-nine fifty-five, whatever it is. Okay. Where's my tractor? Which one? My John Deere. I Which have one? no uh, idea. I can't find it. Why are you looking for it? Hey, leave the cedar. Well, no, you know what? I sh you know what? Sell it. That Ford's struggling there, Nate. I bet that Chevy would have problems with this too. No, you want to try it? <laughs> Nate is really having problems right there. <laughs> I'm playing Tokyo Drift. Give me a minute. Where's Chris at? Uh, back at the house. I think he's crying over his tractor. You're just gonna leave that truck here, right? Aha, uh -huh. we'll leave this truck here when I get to leave your red truck here. Boys, it looks barren. I don't like it. You know what doesn't look barren? This dealership. All right, boys. I'm bringing the last load right now. All right, so I'm gonna hook back up to my trailer because anybody thinks I'm getting rid of my trailer, they've lost their freaking mind. Chris, come here. You don't need this come sock here. grinder. Let's have a talk. No, you can't just drive away with equipment ain't yours. Come here, let's have a talk. Me. But you can keys. sell. Let's be adults. But you can sell equipment that's not yours. It's belongs to both of us. Listen, Chris will buy you a new truck. Okay. What about my truck? Yeah. What about his truck? All right, we'll buy both y'all brand new trucks once everything's done, okay? 2023 Chevy Silverado. Can't guarantee that. Bruh, what's the magic numbers? I don't realize, all we gotta do is just get the number from them. What's stopping us from coming back here later at night and stealing them back, okay? Right, right, Chris? All right, FBI, did you get that? Just kidding, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. How much, uh, how much did we owe still? 4.3? Well, technically, 4.3. Four I'm point. gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill point. him. I'm gonna kill him. You, you wanna explain? Uh, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you explain, then I'm gonna kill you. Let's go. Wait, kill me for what? You chose to come sell here. Okay, then I want the equipment back, and we're gonna go sell to somebody else who's gonna pay the price need to be paid for. It's it. already signed over. What? This is all the cash. No, I did work a deal man. where we still got extra money, and Happy, you got your truck. Blake, you got your truck. Chris, you got your truck. We need $110,000. How are we gonna do this? Let's just go back to the house, and we'll figure it out all then. I'm hoping they have, like, a high demand for silage right now that we aren't aware of, because because, well, this is easily 50 grand. Yeah, it gets us closer. Worst case, we sell bra. <laughs> Surround them, boys. Jason. Surround Jason. them. Epi, here's the keys to my truck, okay? Thank you. If you sell it, I'm selling your truck. You understand? I understand. Because we got two hours before the banker will be here. We're just rolling up to the sell point here. Did you sell them all? Yep. Oh, wow. We really are short. The banker's going to be here any minute. All, all I got to show is a bunch of sheep, a bunch of equipment that ain't worth probably about 20 grand. I quit. <laughs> oh, before. Like before I was, you told him it was a mistake to be here. Start packing up, boys. Yep, I'm just gonna, I guess I'm moving in with my wife. All in favor of moving in with brah. Y'all are sleeping what? on the couch if y'all try that. I mean, couch is better than the, than the grass field. Nate, we got anything hidden over here? Sorghum that never got harvested. And soybeans. All, uh, and got, soybeans. Yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah, so between these two crops, I think we sold the harvesters too soon. Yeah, might want to come to the yeah. house. Oh, I see it. What do you yeah. see? I don't see it. My eyes aren't as good. Oh, uh, I see it now. The sheriff. Yeah, local sheriff. That's a weird dress sheriff right there. What can I do for you? Uh, your time's up. It's time for me to take this farm once and for all. So if I just give up the farm, I get to keep all the money, right? That's not how it works. So that means I got to give up my money on top of yep. giving up my farm? Yep, all of it. Here's the money. Where's the rest of it? We don't got it. Well... What else are you going to sell? I don't know. Why'd you bring yeah, the sheriff? Why is the sheriff here? Just in case you got me any problems, you know? I don't believe you. Whole... Sheriff, why are you here? I'm here because there's a lawsuit against you. No, you no, know, nothing. Money. So, what, what, so what do you mean you're here during a lawsuit? Hold on, hold on. Did we win? Did we win? Yeah, you guys won. He lost. How much did we win? How much did we win? 250 grand. Hey, Baker! I'm leaving. I'm out. No. Hold on, hold on. We got, we got to finish paying you off real fast. All right, here you go. $95,000 check. Now get off my property. Yeah, gladly. I never want to touch this place again. Boys, we get to keep the land. You, this is amazing. I cannot believe that all worked out. You know what? And I appreciate you for getting hit by the truck, okay? I appreciate you. We love you. But, boys, the thing about it is, we're dead free. We own the farm right out. Now we can just farm in peace for the rest of time. Yeah. But, 
before we do that. I like being debt free. Why is he coming back? Nope, I might. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I said I wouldn't come back, but I got to talk to Chris. I forgot. You owe me that money in five years. I'm coming back That's for it. Right. So, uh, All right. You're have That's... the money ready for me, or I'm taking your land too. Did he just say what I think he just said? You want to talk about that? Yeah, I do. Just don't look at the second page of that deed. Oh, we wait, need to wait, look at what? this. You have oh how much? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you all so very much for support you've given to the Family RP series. Please hit the like, subscribe, do what you do best. Thank y'all for the love and support you did. We'll see you next time. Peace!